All right, so this is now the fourth episode of the campaign Sin and Skullduggery. And just to recap what happened, on the 42nd day of Green Sprout, uh, the party over Shadow uh, went on an investigation mission to find out what happened to a missing person known as Professor Escher. They traveled through the professor's house. Uh, within, uh, within his house, there was a maze, and Overshadow explored the maze and found the corpse of the professor. And uh, it turns out that he was murdered, but he left a clue. And uh, Overshadow reported these uh, findings to their employer. Uh, also, the party fought against the remaining members of the Supremacy, but they were assisted by Vigil's two wives, Huntress and Hostess. And they, the, the pair you know, reunited with their husband, and they decided to also thank Overshadow for helping Vigil. They invited the party to their ship, the Salvation, and they all had a good time. But it ended really dark because a golden dragon appeared out of nowhere and blew up their ship and blew up most of the ports with its uh, flame breath. And also it's revealed that a series of attacks has been happening across Kaldagri City. And this is where we uh, picked up. So it's been two days since the initial attack, and now it's the 44th day of Green Sprout, and Skaldagri City is at a crisis. So, uh, the attacks were sent out by the Regalia Syndicate, which is an alliance between the Scale Circle, the Gauntlet Church, and the Crown Cartel. And right now, adventurers, mercenaries, and the undead are allying together to create a network of protection around the city. And uh, as of now, you guys are in the Spearhead Club. You are in Nikolai's uh, bar slash tavern. And I'm going to send you guys the All Bear link. I almost forgot. But yeah, you guys are there right now. And um, unfortunately, like during the two days, there were like attacks that come in and out by monsters and by like the syndicate. So even though you guys like, you know, want to like bury some people you couldn't because it might get interrupted like now it's not the right time like for funeral funeral right funeral rites unfortunately so uh let's see here Is the map opening for the rest of you guys mm -hmm. okay good all right so Right now, I would like to. Uh, you guys are there in the upper part of the of the screen slash map, and right now we'll focus on where Nikolai is. Nikolai is like in the most corner edge. So there, Nikolai. Um, Simon and Vendetta. You guys are with Nikolai and Rotaran at the moment, and you guys are basically discussing like what is happening right now with Nikolai. So Rotaran is uh, updating both of you about what's happening. So he tells you, so guys, the, the skeleton army and our uh, corpse corps, they are working on the clock to patrol every streets for any potential attacks. But this can't go on for long. I think we should eliminate the threat before news spread across Maitan and the other continents. We tried to reach our allies at the Gosalteo Empire, but unfortunately, one of our informants just told us that right now there is an attempt on the Emperor's life, so they couldn't really assist us. And then Nikolai is just saying, like, Oh no, that's horrible news. I think it's best we must avoid telling this to Jed. He will be distressed knowing that Ronan is in danger, and he has so much to worry already. And then he asks you, Simon, is there any leads, perhaps, that you and the rest of Overshadow have encountered during the Professor Asher's maze? What was it again that he struggled to write down before he died?
Wait, so is this a different rule? Yeah, this is not the rule. Oh, wait, I can't hear you Simon, speak by the way. Simon um, tells them that uh, he was trying to write. Uh, red Blight District, I think. Red Blight District or something, yeah. Red Blight? Alright, okay. So, uh, I want you, Simon, and Vendetta to do like either an insight check or an investigation check, please. Okay. I feel like Simon has like advantage for that. Let me check again because he's an inquisitive rogue. Yeah. Let me let me review. Insight. I'm cool insight, how you guys insight. are in the same room, also in uh, the map. I know, right? Very um, predictable. Life imitates art. Immersion. Yeah, immersion. In what? <laughs> wow. A two. Oh shit. I rolled a math one and then plus one girl. Inside the like, That's, that's good. Just waste all the natural ones, you know. <laughs> Wait. I can't. I can't find my thing, so I'll just roll regularly. Okay. I'll check okay, inside. Gotcha. Fifteen. No, uh, I have better insight. Okay. All right. Um, as you, I'll. Where is my notes? I'm looking at my notes. Okay. So as you wrote that, uh, Simon, you um, also during the last few days when uh, during the last two months when you're doing like, you know, detective work and all that stuff, you acquired a bit of knowledge about the city and you you notice that uh, there's like a power dynamic within like the territories of Skullduggery and usually the most powerful people in in the in the districts are the ones who usually like would know like stuff that's go what, what's going on and so far the most powerful person there was like lady l crude the woman in the party but since it's confirmed that she is you know behind the attacks as well she's probably not going to be anywhere where you can find her the next powerful people that could probably know something is uh, Lady Ev and Lord Rain Noctis, the, the couple from the party as well. So they might know something about these attacks, basically. And then uh, Rotaran tells you, uh, oh, Nikolai also asks uh, Rotaran, uh, by the way, uh, Rotaran, I just want to know, uh, are we still safe? Is this area still safe? And then you see Rotaran, he just, he closes his eyes and he just like turns around for a bit. And then he tells you guys, yeah, so far I don't see any attackers, up I don't sense any attackers approaching the club so far. And then Nikolai's like, how do you know this? Is knowing things like power that you have? Then Rotar and he just says, "Knowing things is the result of my power. It's it's very distinct, you know." And Nikolai's like, w "What is your power then?" I'm not I'm not telling. So uh, Vendetta and Simon, you should go see the others. We will call you when we come up with a solid idea on how to proceed. Okay. Okay. Just go, yeah, see the others. And then, if we go to the next room. Right there, uh, Carlo. Are you are you there? Yeah. Okay. So as of now, uh, Sage is actually checking up on Hostess because he wants to make sure that she's doing okay after resurrecting her from the dead. And uh, from what you can see, Hostess, she it it's a very difficult ordeal when you're being resurrected from the dead. So she has trouble with a lot of like basic stuff but since it's been two days she is slowly recovering uh but she is like on a wheelchair just you know because it's a bit of a struggle for her to walk around sometimes 
but uh yeah uh sage asks you vigil like he he's using minor illusion and just using subtitles he's asking like how are you doing vigil like oh that's cool are you... <laughs> it's cool and um he asks you but but your entire most of your friends died are you not upset Mm. Are you? Of course, are I'm you upset. Do... It's just we have to focus more on the we have to focus on the more important things at hand, I guess. And then hostess like holds your arm and she says, "Yeah, yeah, you're you're right, Vigil. We should we will we will mourn the group after this is all over." And uh, she turns to Sage and, like, thanks him for resurrecting her. And Hostess, like, tells him that she basically, like, sort of has a life debt towards Sage now because of what he did. And then Hostess actually calls all seven of you over. And she, she, so she calls the rest of you guys over and she tells you... By the way, guys, speaking of which, I meant to give, I was meaning to give you all of this. Um, this, she holds out a box and she tells that this is a box of holding. And it was, uh, it's, it's infused with like a bag of holding magic by one of the artificers that was working in the Soteris. Unfortunately, that person is dead, so the infusion will wear off. So Hostess says that I think it's best that I give you guys the things that are in this box of holding because the magic is going to fade away and I don't see the point of like burying these items with our group members. I think it, it would have been what they'd want. It's what they would have wanted, you know, having these items put to good use. Uh, this box was about to be burned during the attack, but the artificer, he, he died protecting this box. He was a man that we can truly trust and count on. May Sasi Baka rest in peace. Anyway, here is the box of holding. She opens the box, and this box contains... Um, some magic items. So, Vigil, uh, you get, uh, you see this chime, this magical chime, that when you look at it, you recognize that it is, uh, it, it's a magic item that lets you, you know, open stuff. And, uh, Hostess just, like, Tips the box over and like the items fall off. So I'm going to just list out the things that you guys see. Just give me a moment. What is that? Ah. Okay. Basically, guys, I'm giving your magical items, your rare magical items. So. Woo! Let's see here. I'm going to list. I'm going to put it in SNS chat. Okay. Here it is. So you guys find like a chime of opening. And then for Teach and Sorka, you find like two cloaks of displacement. They're in the colors that you guys would want. And then for Dusk Bunny, you find a visor, and you recognize it as, it's called the S4360, but its full name is Synthetic Scope of Spectral Sight. And then for Trandafira, you notice, notice these like fancy gloves and these fancy boots that you can, that you know, they're in your color as well. So, you know, go for, like, their red gloves and red boots. Or, you know, it can look whatever you guys want it to be. You know, customization. And then for Vendetta, you already have your, your items. So, so, you know, yeah. 
And then, yeah, you guys have your items now. And so, so yeah, Hostess says that, so yeah, guys, you know, like, you can have these items. We got this um, extorting from a lot of people. Uh, we mostly got that from, like, people that we extorted from the Empire, but, you know, don't tell we stole from the extorted from the Empire. It's, you know, they're very scary people to mess with. But yeah, these are these are really good stuff. So, you know, you can honor the Soteris by putting these items to good use. And meanwhile, uh, for Homer, uh, Sage actually approaches you, Homer. And okay. he tells you, well, he doesn't say anything, he's mute, but he basically minor illusions. He puts out, he puts out this, this like staff and he tells you like, this staff used to belong to the matriarch of the agromancy tribe. But unfortunately, like she died protecting like, you know, the farmers and the crops during the attacks. And right now, the the tribe is looking for a new leader. But, you know, while they're searching for a new leader, they want you to hold on to this staff so that you can help bring justice to the tribe, you know, for, for taking away their matriarch. So, Homer, you now have the staff of the woodlands. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll add that to my character sheet. And as I receive that, I say... It will be my great honor to bring justice to our, our core. Okay. Yeah, because cause Sage actually lives in the farms as well on his off day, so this has also become really personal to him because he lost a few people. Too. Then I tell him, don't worry, mate. I'll make sure that you're avenged too. He nods and gives you a thumbs up. And then Luke, on the other hand, like he he calls you guys. He goes to the other room and he he comes in here where the rest are. So he's gonna pull also Homer and uh, you know ask you guys. Uh, let's see, where is my where's my dialogue box? I prepared dialogues for these people. Okay. So, so this is in the other room now where Trandafira, Sorka, and the others are, and he tells you guys. Oh, uh, hey there, youngins. Do any of you like some dragon fruit? One of the patients that Jed healed gave us a whole sack as, as a thank you. Dragon guys... fruit? Yeah, he... a whole sack over here. Deej gets very excited. Oh. Um... Just grabs a dragon fruit and eats it without even peeling it. <laughs> oh, I see. Homer reacts to that's like, whoa, I've never seen you more excited for anything the whole time we've been together. I think this is the first time they spoke, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Had they continued not speaking, I would have forgotten that they were here in the first place. Please, oh my god. <laughs> please enjoy the dragon fruit. And just. We just eat it like without it. With, 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 even the freaking peel, bro. He just eats it. Yeah. Bless your heart. Ask Teach. Uh, teach. You do know that we make dragon fruit back in the farm, right? If you, if I had known, I would have brought some more for you. Hmm. Oh, I don't like to eat dragon fruit very often. Just sometimes because it's very special to me. And if I like eat it. Very often, it it will lose its importance to me. Ah, I understand. Well, anytime you want, just let me know. What the fuck's so special about dragon fruit, though? It's just dragon fruit. How dare, How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. You do you. Uh, meanwhile, uh. Luke says, but, well, you can have as much as you want, Teach. There's like an entire sack right here. 
Uh, by the way, while while that's going on, we should go and help out um Jed over there. Like, there's been a lot of like mercenaries coming and bounty hunters coming over for like his back alley doctor services, and like there's been a lot of patients. You don't see it, but there is a lot. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys go over to Jed and. Uh, what, when Jed's over there, like he calls you guys over for for some assistance uh, on, like you know, healing people and stuff like that. And you guys discover like, like the he actually has like a he basically has a magic item known as an uh an alchem. It's like an alchemy jar, but uh the alchemy jar produces like a lot of fluids like wine and honey and water but his jar in spe specifically it creates a lot of like like medical substances so it's more of it's more of like an alchemy jar but it's like the medical edition so that's what he uses like to heal all all the patients and also how he also like helps homer create like the the magic the healing potions that he has been creating so so that's how he does it and then he also tells you guys uh by the way guys uh i was hoping to ask you guys uh, do any of you recognize this person that's been lying over in the in in the sofa over here you see um there was this man that I saw. A f he woke up a few hours ago, actually, but like he was so confused and he had no idea what was going on. And I had to explain to him where he was and when he was. And I was able to convince him that he is completely safe uh, and that I was healing his injuries. And I tried, he's resting now, and I tried to check his head for any injuries, but there. There's no head injury, so I think it's like mental trauma. But I want to know if any of you guys recognize him. And with that, I would like Ken to please like describe what your character looks like. Your character's already waking up from his rest. Okay. So please describe what your character looks like, what his name is, and... Oh, where's the picture? <laughs> Anyways, uh, hi guys, it's Ken. <laughs> Now just post a picture oh. first. Give me a second. What is Amir sending? Exactly. <laughs> nice. So he's a tiefling. Um, he has long horns and pale red skin. And um, what do you call this? Right now he's wearing priestly robes. And uh, he has a staff that he used to walk with. It's not, it's not that old for tiefling age, but like 25 or so from what it looks like. Uh, he has... Also, when we up this morning. <laughs> um, also, he has pale white eyes, and you can just see like the irises is just like there, but it's like covered by mostly the what do you call it, by the white part of its eyes, and that's how it looks like. And um, he, uh, waking up from a groggy sleep. Yeah, as you wake up, you just notice like the first thing you notice is. This very handsome changeling man that you know that that you uh, met already a few hours ago. He was the one who healed your injuries, and he explained to you that you know um, you don't have any memories of like uh, of what happened, like the pa like you you remembered like the past two days, okay? But you were mostly like injured and you were resting. But the two the the day before that, you lost your memories of like the entire twenty four hours, and during that time, uh, Jed, this man Jed, he explained to you that an attack happened in the city, and it seems like you were caught in it. And we found you and decided to bring you in and heal you up. So... Okay, as, as Amir wakes up, he says, "This eye, this eye in the malice." Sweet blossom. And then the handsome man now does he react? <laughs> and then Jed is like, I don't know what you just said, but I assure you you're completely alive. 
I guess. And and yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember any? Thing that happened like before the attack and he, he shakes his head no no not really yo <laughs> okay okay that's that's fine that's Shakespearean, completely... Shakespearean rapper <laughs> you should uh just settle down for a bit and I because I need to heal other people and then uh, I can help with that and it's oh, up. can you? Okay, that's that's good. That's good. They right. the, the cleric of the great Zamala. You know her. Yes, I kind of know her, but I'm glad that you're uh, that you know a cleric, so you could assist me in helping some of these people. And then, for sure, for sure. All right. Meanwhile, uh. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, you have some time to role play, and you know, uh, uh, is there anything you guys wanna role play or do something? You know, you just met this guy as well. Well, I mean, I'll probably help Amir and Jed healing people as well because I can do that. So, um, I guess we can bond over healing people. So I kind of ask um, Amir. Like, you say you're from a different time period. Uh, which one specifically? Ah, uh, I do not know exactly. It's all still fuzzed up with me for a moment. Uh, what is your name exactly? Ah, uh, my apologies. My name is Homer. Ah, uh, Homer. I've read your books and watched the show. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be referring to a different Homer. Oh, it might have also been in a different time period. My serious apologies. <laughs> but I would like to hear about this other Homer. He sounds very interesting. Uh, well, he's fat. Oh, and wow. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he's fat, period. <laughs> Yellow. Uh, yellow. <laughs> Anyways, are you this also a cleric, yo? <laughs> oh, well, no, my magic comes from nature itself. Ah, uh, Dai is the what do they call it? Dai is also a purchaser of Dai weed. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we do have weeds every now and then, but uh. I think you're talking about a that, different kind of weed. Die is good, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like a landmine, dude. All right. <laughs> anyway, she uh, continues healing and talking with Homer. Do uh, you have any questions regarding him? Uh, he doesn't remember anything right now, sadly. But he wants oh, to help. Yeah. I mean, I think that's it then. Like, if you don't remember anything, we would talk yeah. about that then. That's the response, mostly. He remembers where he came from. He would tell you that he was from Exoria. He an Exorian. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. All right. Then he's like, Exoria, huh? Never been there before. What's it like? No, it's not missing much. Very sandy. Very, very sandy. Like sand upon sand. And the occasional dragons. Occasional yeah. dragons. Yeah. Hold on. You said dragons. Yes. Might you help us with our dragon problem? Dragon problem? Well, of course. I could certainly help. Considering that I uh, don't have much of my memories as of the moment. Maybe that could help me remember. Get the good old juices flowing. Alright then. Also, you talk funny. I, don't, I, don't, I, I barely understand you, but... Yeah, yeah. You seem pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Luke chimes in as well, and Luke is like, huh, you're from Exoria, huh? That place is pretty boring. Sometimes I wish some fun stuff happens over there soon. Yeah, this also want some kind of revolution or war. Would be pretty cool, yo. Yeah. 
anyway. It may be nice for the <laughs> uh, While you guys are discussing, actually, you you hear like a ringing sound, like approach, like within you guys, and then all of a sudden you see like four individuals, like pop in the area. All of a sudden, they're 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 right behind Luke, actually. All of a sudden. So, uh, these four individuals appear, and uh, you see a woman and like two kobolds standing right next to her. Uh, you see a woman, a red haired woman, uh, with impressive like silver ar armor, and she looks really beautiful. She has like a uh, half elven features and has also like pale complexion. And she kind of looks familiar in a way if, like, you look at her face sometimes. And then beside her are two kobolds. One is a blue kobold, and the other is a green kobold. And they also wear, like, bronze armor. And also, what you also see beside uh, the woman is a very small golden furred elephant with wings beside her. So, yeah, they just appeared out of nowhere. And uh, before you guys can, like, freak out or react, like, Jed actually, like, you know, calms you guys down. And then he says, like, Oh. Uh, hey, uh, hello, Mom. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. And then the woman tells, like, Hello, Jed. I, I missed you so much. Uh, it's good to see you. And uh, it's quite unfortunate that we're seeing each other under difficult uh, circumstances. And Luke, is, Luke was, you know, frightened and he was like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, but who are you? And she says, oh, I I'm sorry. I am Lady Armas Bishop, and I am a representative of uh, the Church of the Golden Warlord. I've been summoned here by uh, a man named Nikolai to help with things. And then you see uh, Nikolai is going to walk out. You guys can follow, by the way, and, uh, I don't know, meet her as well. Like, ah, oh, it's, it's my, uh, it's, it's you, uh, Armas. It's, it's good to see you. It's like, yes, it's good to see you as well, Nikolai. And you guys can, uh, chime in as well, you know. There's, there's an elephant, by the way. An el the elephant in the room. Yeah, there's there's a small golden elephant with the wings. Uh, I don't wanna address the elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I'll give you, I'll give you a wishbone for that. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 but but yeah uh is there is there anyone uh that you know uh wants to ask something or say something any anyone uh, so i'm assuming you're here to help us with the in the dragon situation and all the attacks and then the blue cobalt he's like Yes, we are here to help with the with the crisis that is happening. We're actually involved in this because of the Gauntlet Church, who we hate. So yes, we're here Classy. to help. Yeah. Then uh, uh, our mass bishop uh, tells you guys that yes, we are here to help with uh, with 
with anything that the Gauntlet Church is involved in because they were uh, a faction of followers that betrayed our church. So it's kind of, we took it as a responsibility to stop them wherever they are. And uh, also I have some personal stake in this because they attacked the city where my son and my... Uh, person we're living in so yes and then uh she asks you guys is there any uh is there any plans though that you guys have in like how to proceed with this maybe we can help with something actually we never actually discussed the plan Nate, shall we friends fellas i see Okay, well, and then when, uh, as you guys were saying that, there is, uh, there's going to be, Rotaran is going to come out and he tells you guys, like, by the way, guys, I see, like, a person approaching the Spearhead Club, but it's only one person, but he's wearing a mask and it's kind of, he looks, I don't know, uh, he, he's updating you guys, and he's like, he's very near right now. He's actually, oh, he's not, he's not using the front door. He's actually climbing the, the club for some reason. Oh, he's, he's Everybody's in the Everybody's just popping on here. What the hell? Yeah, there, there is, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't. Okay, this is weird. He is uh he's looking for a a window to like jump into. I don't He's actually scratching his head. I don't know. Uh Oh, he is He is uh he is jumping through a window and uh oh, he's he's over there. He's pointing at the ceiling. And you see this guy this gray skin guy uh -huh. just jumping through and landing like with like, doing a three point landing and jumping down and he was telling like oh hey guys i'm i'm here to help you guys out on something uh nikolai actually called me in here by the way before you attack me just so you know I'm here to help. Did you not bother to use the front door? No, I was. Front doors are for people with no imagination, so. You're just making things hard for yourself, friend. What do you mean? I came here. Um, <laughs> and then our mass is just like. Anyway, guys. Uh. Before before we uh, go off track, uh, I should introduce my other three companions. This kobold's over here. The blue one, his name is... Oh, I, I should just type out their names in case... In case... You guys uh, mishear them. So, the the elephant... His, his name is actually power like that's his actual name or that's the name he gave himself and uh the blue one is named cobalt and the other the green one is named ratog so those are the these are the these are her guests and these are also like uh priests of the of the golden warlords church and they're basically tacticians so they're here to like you know consult you guys and give you guys uh give you guys advice on like how to proceed but basically rotaran tells you guys that hey guys so there's a plan uh on well yeah we have a plan and we basically need overshadows help with this because you guys are the best at sneaking in basically so guys, 
we are gonna give you a mission. You guys are gonna go infiltrate the house of Lady Ev and Lord Noctis and search for any leads or any intel that they might have on on the syndicate. Okay? Are you guys good with that? Sure. Okay. And uh, as I know, you guys are motivated for some extra motivation. We will pay you guys 500 GP each. How's, how does that sound? Mm -hmm. Sounds All right. All right. And uh, you guys have a bit of a discussion, actually, with uh, things to proceed. And Rock, he came here because... Uh, he actually had like some intel on on uh, on what was happening. He, the Rock, told you guys that uh, he he went around investigating in the the red light district, and uh, what happened was that the place is really suspicious because. There, there would be attacks happening all across the city, but so far, Red Blight District does not seem to have, like, any attacks that are happening. And if there are attacks that, uh, that you know, take place, it's mostly, like, like, random explosions or something that doesn't harm anyone. So that's very, like, it's very suspicious. It's like they're putting on a shoba. And by the way, I just want to uh, share with you guys some images of like what the attacks look like. So uh, here are some, some images that will help you visualize what happened. <laughs> oh my god. So here are some images, some pictures of like explosions in the city. And like fights between like mercenaries and like the undead soldiers just, you know, like running around patrolling the place. And so yeah, that that's what been what's been happening the past two days. So guys, uh you guys are uh you guys are now being directed to go actually right now to like the red light district to sneak in and investigate. So, uh, but before you guys are gonna go though, um, our mass bishop she actually pulls aside uh, Tej because she's actually been looking at his direction and like frowning a bit. Like she she looks at him like a bit confusingly, but then she pulls him aside and wants to talk with him. So, so TJ, like you will be speaking with Lady Armas, and she's gonna ask you. Um, ex excuse me, child, but, uh, could you tell me your name, please? You look awfully familiar. My name is Tej. And then, uh, Armas is a bit shocked. She puts her hand in her mouth and she tells you, like, we've actually, we've actually met before when you were, when you were very little, actually. I, I actually, I actually knew your parents from before, and, uh, well, uh, I don't know how to put this on you all of a sudden, but your parents were, were attacked, like, 18 years ago by the Gauntlet Church, and, uh, when they were attacked, they, they had me uh carry you to safety while while they were attacked so uh unfortunately the gauntlet church reached both of us and attacked us and and you were injured mm. and i had to save you so i took a risk and i i had this scimitar and i i that scimitar contained a jinn which could grant wishes so i i released it and told it to un and wished for him to heal you and then i put you in an orphanage because i was worried that our attackers might catch us and kill us both so so yeah i uh 
I don't know if you know how if you found out that's how you ended up in the orphanage, but yeah, I I, I wanted to tell you to explain it to you as well myself. So you so saved I hope you... my life. Thank uh, you. I don't remember oh. anything, but thank you. Okay, I'm I'm glad I'm glad that you don't hold any resentment because I don't know. I, I wasn't even sure if the orphanage was good to you. I, I really took a risk there. W were they kind to you when, when they, when you were oh, there? Oh, I left the orphanage. Oh, why? Were they horrible? Nah, bro. I just felt like leaving the orphanage. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know, I, it's hard to tell you this, but uh, actually, your your parents were gone as well. The Gauntlet Church took them during the attack. But mm. uh, your 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 grandfather was well. He passed away a few a few months ago as well. So I'm really sorry to tell you all this. Like I. I thought you should know. Damn. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, well, you're on a mission right now, and uh, be be careful. Okay. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Okay. And then, uh, meanwhile. Uh, Tej, when you when you pass by the elephant, by the way, you vaguely remember the power actually approaches you as well, and like he uses his telepathy at you, and he tells you like, "You're Tej. You are. Your name is Tej, right?" Yeah. Oh, what the hell? I, an elephant is talking. Okay. Yeah, the, my name is Tej. The elephant is talking to you, but like using telepathy, so you hear his thoughts in your head. But obviously, he you know it's from him, and then tells you, "Oh, Tease, I remember you. Do you not remember who I am? We have also met before during, I don't know, four years ago or so. Four years ago. Yes. Oh, nah, bro. I, nah. I mean, I don't really remember, but. I can, right. I can I recognize you though. I'll I'll explain it to you then. You see, four years ago, I basically got pranked on by uh by like a spellcaster, and they turned me into a dog basically. So I spent the whole day looking well for a long time, a whole day looking like a dog and. And I think it was you that found me, and, and we had a really good time back then. We were, you know, like, you thought I was a stray dog, but I was just a floating elephant, really. Oh my god. Cornelius? Is that you? Yeah, you- Cornelius? It's, it's me, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so good to see you. Um, what happened to you, man? <laughs> what happened? I I was I was a dog, but you know that that was like a prank being put on me. But now I'm back to my true form, which is a flying elephant. Man, that's worse. But okay. Excuse me. I think this is a better form. But you know what? I can also do one better. I could transform into a giant mammoth right now if you, you asked me to. Oh, that, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I can I do it right know. now. See? No, no, no. <laughs> it, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Small elephant turning big. And then we're like, what the hells? Um, the the other one was bawling their eyes, the other... What is going on? 
<laughs> what is going on? And then our mass muscles Our break. muscles. Uh, is that normal, our mass? Oh, yes, this is quite normal. He is what you would call a holophant. And uh, he's a celestial being that has been hanging around here in Taran. And he's a... Uh, and yeah, this is pretty normal. He has two forms, the tiny elephant and the giant mammoth. Ah, uh, really? all right then. Ah, uh, adorable. Yeah. So terrifying. Anyway, guys. Uh, you guys should head out now to your mission. We'll be here and, uh, and Power over here. He will also help with patrolling the area. And then Power is like, well, it's good to see you again, Teach, but I will be back. I will go and fight some evil creatures. Alright, bro. Good luck. Alright. And then he flies through the ceiling. <laughs> and he's gone. And yeah, guys, uh, we will now be going to the Red Blight District. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures of what the Red Blight District looks like. So, uh, just to give you guys an idea. The Red Blight District, it basically looks like this. So, it's very, very festive looking. And, you know, there's a lot. It's It also has, like, the Japanese aesthetics. But you also see a lot of, like, also Japanese buildings. And a few European style buildings as well that are like medieval. And uh, it's already like evening time. And there's also like the Red Blight District, as I mentioned before, it's basically like the Mango Avenue of, of Skaldagri City. So there's a lot of like bars and taverns and, and brothels. And, but right now the street isn't really so busy. So, uh, normally it's busy, but ever since the attacks, like a lot of people are staying inside their homes. And, uh, I want you guys to also roll, like, a stealth check first, and then a survival check, just to, like, avoid being detected by any possible, like, hidden attackers, okay? Everyone has pass without trace, by the way, because I can cast that at will with my staff now. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes my roll, what, 33 plus what, 40? <laughs> you guys failed plus this something. 10 is 43, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god! Vigil! Wow! Every... This is nice. <laughs> Oh my god, 22. Fucking oh my, A, dude. Oh my god. Oh, crazy. 18, because I forgot to add the 10. Yeah. 18 for me. 37. Oh, I'm with a disadvantage. Jesus Christ, give me a second. Yeah, roll one more time, man. Oh I my god. Seven. I hate wearing this armor. I should have stayed in my prison room. Well, that's natural 20. Don't make a difference. <laughs> yeah. It's 18 for me. Oh wait, I also have disadvantage. Let me roll my d20 once more. Oh my god, that everyone is... God bless you. Know, it's all around, wow. Okay. And I didn't get, I didn't get the... You don't count that though, the mine, because that's with disadvantage. You have to count the 8. Okay. But yeah. 18, because it's plus 10. Minus 22, and then survival, you said, no? See, so ah, I have to do... I have to do... So. Ah, because we're wearing chainmail, Carlo. But I don't think you are, so you don't have to roll that. See survival. Chain mail be too heavy. Yay, yeah, 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 16 Ooh, survival. Bro, I just rolled two natural 20s. What the fuck? What? Crazy. Yo. Yo. Cool. Thank God. 17. Okay. God, God, that's kind of overkill. Damn. These are really nice. These are nice rolls. It's not a survival, okay. Sorry, oh my God, 21. <laughs> Oh Jesus! What's what's the day? As as a group, you know, you guys are so stealthy that you yeah, you guys as as Carlos said, you guys ballet around the streets openly. Uh, this is you. Know, we're also level ten. That makes sense. Hmm. We got plus nines all over the board. Plus eight. Okay. 
So, okay, survival checks. Okay, this is like a group survival check, so I will say that you guys were also able to like uh, avoid a few like a few fights with some hidden attackers. There was one that tried to attack you, but like the skeleton army of the city like backed you up and like you know like took one for the team and like held off the group. So you guys were able to go on to to the Noctis mansion undetected, mostly. And then I'm gonna show you the outside of what the mansion looks like, you know, because because it's a fancy mansion. It's very splashed out. So the mansion looks like this. It has that Japanese style like aesthetic still, and uh. There's like some sakura trees over there. It's kind of near the near the edge of the red light district near the woods already. So there's a lot of nature in there. And hmm, I want you guys to do um you guys can either do perception, investigation or arcana checks just to make sure that there are no like hidden like the place isn't rigged with like magic traps or whatever or normal traps. Let's see. Oh. Wow. Twenty two on Arcana. Okay. Perception, perception. Okay, nice. Vendetta's natural twenty why are you guys rolling twenties now? <laughs> I don't know. Well, there oh, are seven God. of us. There are eight of us, dude. <laughs> what? Oh my God. What at this point is it safe to say that if I see a physical trap, I'm not asking permission anymore? Honestly, guys, like I hope your combat encounter you roll twenties as well because I'm scared. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, uh, here it is. Okay. Uh, since most of you guys rolled like above 20, you guys, uh, you guys were able to detect a few traps, both magical and practical traps. Uh, you guys are able to skirt around and avoid them as well, no problem. So you guys were able to enter through the mansion. And I will now change the map to the mansion. And here is the mansion. Uh, is it loading for you guys? Yep, it's still loading. It's almost done. Okay. It's done. Uh, I want you guys to, uh, hmm. Tokens. I'll, I'll say that you guys are in this, in this area, in the, in this circle. There's like a circle, a big circle. Uh, you guys are there. All of you collectively as a team okay good uh I'll, I'll put your tokens for the rest of you guys hold on thank you if mine well, not, I, I haven't edited mine yet okay oh wait you haven't edited like some of them i haven't edited yet either. I, got, I got the long one but you have the uh, yeah you have my I have, token the one that yeah, you used earlier I can use yeah. that one. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Dusk Bunny's here. Tejas here. Trendafira. Uh, here it is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There, there you all are. You know, Ocean's Eight, the overshadow. Okay. So. Uh, just tell me what room you want to pick and explore, and then I'll describe to you what you guys see. Mm. Yeah. I want to do the right one. Fucking place is huge. All right, let's, the right let's one. go to the right. This one. To the right, to the right. To the right, to the right. Okay, so you're in the right All side, right. Of the and you notice that in this place, uh, these are mostly like guest bedrooms. <clears> and... <throat> Uh, you guys scar for like stuff there, and you guys um find you you guys don't really find like um anything of value. Well, you you do find a bit of like valuables there, like 
some silverware, some like nice fancy stuff. So you guys take those stuff? Because you know I will react to that. <laughs> guess that's stealing shit. <laughs> Wait, do you? Do they? I that company? That, I think that the rogues would want to do that. Mm, not this one. Well, no one, no one's saying anything, so I guess they're not I stealing. Oh, okay. So yeah, but then. No, 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 no. We're, we're taking as much as we can. We have a box and bag holding. Hey, yeah. Well, uh, just so you know, the, the box of holding, like, it's magic faded away, so it's uh, gone. It's yeah. just a regular box now. So just a fucking box? Yeah. But we still have the bag. Yeah. Getting yeah. steal from the rich. Let's go. This yeah, party yeah. such a lowly team. <laughs> You must I not mean, steal from these people. Have they done oh, wrong? Uh, these are these are guest rooms. Never mind that. Wait, what? We'll, <laughs> steal from, the we'll steal from the master bedroom. Okay, that's where all the good stuff is. <laughs> I tell Amir, ah, uh, yeah, they are that kind of people, my dude. Amir shrugs, just like, well, Zamala must be punishing me for what I've done. Whatever it is. <laughs> It's all right, friend. You get used to it after a while. Okay, so that's all you find in the bedroom. Uh, is there any other room you guys want to check? Uh, hmm. That's, there's a lot of rooms in this thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh. What do people need all these rooms for? This one. Th this room. Oh. Oh, that's not a room. That's a table. Oh, that's a t oh, well. It's a table in a room. <laughs> a room the yeah. table in a room. But we're, yeah. Oh, is there anything here? Yeah, because there's like papers on it. Yeah. Are there anything in the papers? You know, notes and shit. Ah, uh, are there anything in the papers? Well, um, you notice the the papers? They're just notes of like uh. Oh, wait. I'm checking my notes. The papers here. Uh, it details, um, oh yeah, the papers, they're, they're, they're messages from, from a person, uh, named, uh, from Zix Grim Jail, guys. Yeah. And, oh, jail. Shit. okay. Who is where that is, person? Where is Vendetta? She would be interested in this. And it moves, oh, uh, there she is. <laughs> That's yeah. my name. Vendetta. You said you were looking for a target, right? Seems like these people are... I don't know who wrote this, but they seem to be in contact with your, I guess, friend, Rolling Eyes. Yeah, um, Vendetta will go through the paper some more and see if she can find a name. Aside from, you know, hmm. Zix Grimjay, like, is, are they just letters? about Zix they, or they they are letters when you read through the letters you realize that these letters are are messages from uh from Zix and from the other leaders of the syndicate and they're the ones who uh the letters state that they are uh thanking the the two people see Ev and see Rain uh, for yeah. coordinating the attacks, and that in exchange for giving coordination, they will trade in like a few favors to to these to this couple. Yeah. Hmm. So they're the ones behind this. No art assassins as well, aside from being just thieves. Could say that. Well, <laughs> seems like I found. The most righteous group around here. <laughs> Make no mistake. Uh, We've not killed carelessly. Oh, so I art not deliver vengeance to those who don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. That is greatly I understand. <laughs> um I'll also cast aid on people who are the frontliners here. Because eight arts might as well, right? Yeah. DM, I want aid. Does Bunny um, will like will like take the letters and like put it like so close to his face and the uh, 
visors are like you know adjusting and whatever. He's yeah. just having slides. Can I make I, a? Oh, I'm gonna make a no perception form, check. Perception on, check. Yeah, on the oh, letters. Okay. A anything from like what kind of ink they were using, you know, like uh, where you know to uh, just get as much people. information as possible. Fifth. Hmm, oh my. Okay. Fifteen. You did a fifteen. Hmm. I will say uh, that the papers, they're, they're, they're like high quality paper, you know, like rich people paper. <laughs> and okay. uh, you're, what you can figure is it came from, it came from usually like fancy stores within Skaldagri City. But other than that, like there's nothing like uh, more like, you know, a lot. There's n there's not much leads to get from the paper besides oh, besides yeah there's like no return address there's no like distinguishing marks or anything so far. Got it. So Dust Bunny is like looking at the paper and then you know sm sniffs it and then like he his eyes get like really really close and then he he shows to everyone waving the paper around as he has like you know a very great finding and he's like yes paper. It's expensive. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very My expensive. paper is expensive. <laughs> How expensive exactly? <laughs> it is very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just nods just... reassuringly. <laughs> yeah, it does. And we're really like. Uh, Simon, uh, what are you trying to say about it being expensive exactly? I'm saying that this Zix guy that we've been after, he's rich. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I, I never thought about that. And then she just rolls her eyes. <laughs> oh, God. These people live in great expectation. Extravagance, <laughs> do they? Good well, for them. Good for them. They are powerful figures in Skullduggery Island. Well, may I ask who exactly these people are? Are they not righteous? Mm. Do they not deserve the malice blessings? They are not righteous. No, they are. Uh, what's the opposite of righteous? Leftists. So, yes, uh, yes, they're <laughs> dogs <Bunny. laughs> They are leftists. <laughs> and they shall deserve her rat then. And yeah. I shall deliver it. Indeed. Alongside all of you, I'm guessing. Alongside you, all of us. You guys hear like. <laughs> noise oh, like that oh? Uh, oh? Which room? Door. Door. Which room? The room uh, in the red room. It seems to be. Uh, in this direction. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Shall we play hide and seek? Oh, uh, which, which direction? That direction? Okay. Alright, alright. The dining, the dining room. room. Makes both hate social, for we shall deliver thy wrath upon these people. Oh, dear. <laughs> I know what you just said, but okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, gonna... where's the where's the door to this thing? Uh, uh, ah, here we go. Okay. Passageway. Oh, there we go. I don't know where it was. Like, I'll hide here. Right here. Oh, he goes in already. Big man. Oh, oh he just. Oh, this is outrides. Freaking outrides goes in. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is the dining hall, and here, um, it looks. It's it's just like how it's presented: red carpeting, red tables, chairs, very fancy, and uh, there's like a long table right above the kitchen, and you can see a portrait near that long table of you know Lord Ev and Lady Rain. You know they're they're like uh, they look like it looks it's a portrait of them like dancing together and looking fancy, and there's also, no. 
There's no mm-hmm. other figure in the in the portrait, like you know, maybe a a brooding big guy or. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a guy with a great sword. <laughs> yeah, a guy not with a great <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> how, do, how do my parents look exactly? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me show you uh, pictures of them. Hold on. Okay. I guess but, but Lord Rain for sure looks like if Guts decide to wear fancy clothes, you know? Ah, okay. I'm That's so that weird, sense. dude. Jesus. And I feel like Guts, Guts in the Golden Ark when they went to the freaking palace shit. And, uh... Yeah, weird. And Lady Ev looks like, basically like, Brienne of Tarth, but with dark hair. Oh, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like two buff people, like, freaking bearing each other. Yeah. Well... Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. And, uh, let me just show you what they look like. Just, uh, just to give you a visual of what you see in the portrait. Oh my god, I have so much photos of NPCs. Hold on. Uh, basically, oh, here it is. Yeah. Uh, is there something else you wanted to oh, check? Ah, nice. Is there like a specific part of the room you guys want to check, maybe? Uh, can I check for hidden doors? Hmm, hidden doors. I want you to roll... Uh, hmm. Roll for me, like... What, what can I roll? Roll, I guess, investigation check, please. Alright, am I an idiot? Give me a second. I'm an idiot. Um, I'll just cast Guidance as well, see where that goes. Okay. While he's doing oh, that, Simon goes to the middle of the room, like, does like a 360, and then Simon, uh-huh. and then Dust Bunny's like, Oh shit. This room, and all these things, are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but I wrote that, by the way. I got okay. 10 on my investigation. You tried to look for some hidden doors and stuff, but you cannot find any, unfortunately. Like, you tried moving, like, some chairs, or, like, can, you tried to move stuff. But can, you, can, does Bunny actually, like, roll for perception? So while Amir was, like, looking for the secret doors, does Bunny just, like... Uh, I don't know. He... he Comedically, he's the one who finds it with not not doing it on purpose. <laughs> ah. Um, you you find like uh, uh roll twenty three. Oh, yeah, you roll the twenty three. Yeah, while while Amir was looking around and he couldn't find any, like dust bunny. Like even though your back is turned, you notice there was like a lever in one of the under one of the tables. Like, for some reason, Amir just missed that. Like, while he was passing through you, he turned his head away a bit and then missed the lever. But yeah, you see it, Dusk Bunny. Uh, there's a lever under one yeah. of the tables. Cool. So Dusk Bunny's like, this room, everything in it, and the levers on some of, like, under the tables are expensive. <laughs> Amir just says, wait, wait Bunny. Lever? Oh, yeah, it's a lever. <laughs> yeah, it's over there. It's a uh, it's expensive looking lever. It's gold plated. Has like crosses the words. It works. It's a gold plated lever, actually. Yeah, it is gold. Okay. Is it here? In this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, die party members, we have found ourselves a secret lever. Yes. Can someone check if it's a magical trap on it or something? Oh, uh, I can do that. Alright. I'll cast Guidance on myself, and the Pass Without Trace disappears as well. Gotta have it, gotta steal it. <laughs> See, Archon... Steal the, the fucking beat. lever without even pulling it. <laughs> Ooh, 22. Crazy. Okay, um... Over, you check for any magical traps around the lever, okay. but you don't see any. You guys are good to go. Nope. Ah, okay. Okay, we just pull. I just, we just pull. All right, let's Here. pull this and let's I will, pull the lever. I want you guys to do a uh, an athletics check, please. Like, I whoever. fucking god damn it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, athletics! I'm uh, pretty good at athletics. Oh, suck at that. 
I also have guidance. Oh, so. oh, I can't. I can't cast guidance. Oh, is it a check or saving throw? It's a check. It's a check, please. Okay. Five. I mean, I got Ooh, sad. I got a why, why are we all ass? Two? But athletics. <laughs> I mean, all of you. All of you. I checked. All of you had a strength score of eight, and I'm like, wow. I got a twenty-two. I got a. <laughs> this is a check. I can. I can use guy. I can have guidance on that, right? Oh, what doing rogues are we? Hey, I have. How are we so weak? Hey, I have a. So, so Amir, you pull the lever, and it takes a bit of a struggle. But when you pull it, you hear a clicking sound, and then suddenly the doors to the kitchen are sealed shut. And all of a sudden, you see like powder and smoke just coming out of the room from underneath you. Mm-hmm. And I want you all guys as a party to just roll like a constitution check, please. A, a, a constitution check. check. Not save, Ooh. right? Constitution check. Then we That's have to check. apply guidance to that. Yeah, I can apply guidance to that. Everyone? Oh, yeah. I got a natural one. There we go. It's a... Uh, there we 11. go. 11. 12. Oof. 11. 11. Where's my... Okay. 24. Plus 1d4. Yes, plus 1d4. I mean, do those people have guidance? Oh, okay. When you want to add bonuses, you add this command. Uh, like this. Ah, with a B, okay. Okay, got it. B Thank for you. bonus. <coughs> wow, you guys rolled. Well, except yeah. for me. I got 11. <laughs> so, for those who rolled below 13, below 13, <laughs> you guys are knocked unconscious. Oh, I'm um, not. I'd cautiously and then, flip myself. And then what happened as well is that uh, for for the three who passed, Dusk Bunny, Teej, and uh, for Vigil, you guys were able to hold your breath for a long time just to not inhale the powder. And Teej, you, you can breathe. You don't even need to breathe. You can hold it indefinitely. So you were able to you know hold your breath no problem and avoid... Uh, inhaling most of the smoke, but you inhaled some of it all of a sudden. So, all seven of you have some hallucination sequences, and I'm going to go through it uh, one by one with each of you. For Tej, um, while you were holding your breath, you actually notice a hallucination. You notice this uh, really this little girl. <laughs> This human girl um, that you've met before, and it looks like she's in the room and she is running around and calling you, but she's flickering in and out of your perception. And then, meanwhile, for uh, <clears throat> let's see, for vigil, for for a few seconds, you thought you noticed like. Uh, you feel like you noticed a hand like on your shoulder and when you turned around you looked and you see it was Huntress but she's also flickering out from your vision as well and and you are quite aware that it's a hallucination as well and for Dust Bunny it was a bit overwhelming but you noticed like uh, a lot of like uh a lot of carrots just surrounding you in all directions. And since you're wearing the visor, it's really overwhelming to see. But but you're aware this is a this is an illusion. So you know you're just a bit shocked that you were like suddenly surrounded by carrots and you see like all of it at the same time. And then for those that were unconscious, you take like the brunt of the drug. And uh, so with Trandafira. You kind of had like a very like strong nightmare slash hallucination. Yeah, you're you're 
like it the the thing like uh the drug like manipulates your perception of time as well so what happens trend of fear is like you're basically in a dark room and all of a sudden you can see like two figures like from far away one of the figure is clothed in purple clothes and is carrying a glaive and the other figure is wearing blue clothes and you notice like like a a blue like crystalline structure like behind him and uh you see those two the two figures just running towards you like and the way they run is very unnatural it looks like a predator like stalking its prey in the wild they they look like uh it looks these two figures are revealed to be like very wild and feral bugbears that are trying to like claw at you Ooh. and then the last thing you can see is like another figure behind them just it's like a jump scare it's flying towards you at fast speed and yeah that is like your your nightmare Ooh. and then Meanwhile, for Vendetta, your nightmare sequence, you dream of the day when your father was murdered. You are a, a little girl in your house, and uh, you're, you're in your house, and, and you are sitting at the, at the lap of your father, and he is just, you know, like, uh, you know, sh showering you with affection, and... All of a sudden, uh, you look at his face and you notice that there's a giant hole in his face and like some of the blood is just gushing out onto you. And then you, his, his, his figure falls over and you notice like uh, Zix Grimjell right behind him with a gun. And... There's also one thing you actually noticed in your memory. You noticed that there are two figures as well there standing next to Zix. A tall woman in armor and a man who is short but still muscular in black clothes and they are killing other people in that room. They didn't kill your father but they were killing others inside the room. And uh, Vendetta, that's when you realize that uh, on that same night, uh, Lady Ev and Lord Rain were also there. On the, they were with Zix Grimjail when he killed your father. They were present at that time. And in the next nightmare sequence, we have, uh, we have Sorka. With her nightmare sequence, what you what you see is uh, uh, your father, Luke, standing in front of you, and uh, Luke tries to embrace you, but before he does, he collapses, and then what you see is like dozens and dozens of cats just bursting out of his corpse, and. As the cats are walking, the, the cats are swarming around you. It's like, imagine, like, just just a bunch of cats just running past you. So you're falling down and the cats are, it's like a stampede of cats. But they're scratching you and biting you as they pass through. And you were able to, like, uh, get up and, like, you know, withstand the stampede of cats. But when you get up, you suddenly see like wait later later you see uh you see a woman standing in front of you sorka and you recognize that woman as your mother and the last thing you can see is your mother just having like a wide grin on her face her smile looks like the cheshire cat and and yeah that's that is it. And for Homer, for your nightmare sequence, uh, you dream of like of working in the farm with the Agromancy tribe. 
and from your dream sequence, you see the fields are starting to like set on fire. But what happens is that when you try to like put out the flames, a man stops you and you recognize that man as your father. And then your father tells you like, Homer, don't you worry, son. This is supposed to happen. The fire, it cleanses everything, you see. And then he hold. You're, you're trying to like, you transform from an old man to a young boy and you're trying to put out the fire, but your father is still pulling you back and making you watch as the fire is burning everything. It's burning the crops, your farm home, the forests. And then Homer, the last thing you see it's like a man in white in a white suit with red with golden hair and he is a very beautiful creature he he looks he basically has a very angelic like appearance and the last thing you can uh perceive is this man is asking you to help him and yeah that is the nightmare sequence guys and Yo, Feather has a nightmare too. <laughs> the poor old. It's a nightmare. Well, Feather, Feather dreamt that he was eating rats, you know, because he's he's like an owl, right? So he's feasting on on rats, and all of a sudden the rats grow gigantic and eat him back. Oh so, shit! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so. For the three of you guys uh, who aren't knocked out, you can actually shake the guys awake. It's just that the four of them had this dream like really, really fast in their minds. So yeah. So so that's it. That's your nightmare sequence, guys. Okay. I'm so sorry to the person who's gonna wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do we wake up at this point, or we're still unconscious? You're you're still unconscious. The only way that you can be woken up is if the three of them, you know, like slap you awake, basically. You just you just decide to just leave and just never wake us up. <laughs> oh wait, Amir is also here, right? Amir is knocked out as well. I thought he was in a for for Amir as well. You basically had a nightmare of like. You briefly remember uh, have a you briefly like have a memory of like fighting a bunch of men, mm -hmm. and uh, the the fight was very uh, grueling, but you were able to win. However, one of the men was able to put both of his hands in your head, and you had and your head was slowly vibrating. You know, it almost felt like it was gonna explode, but all of a sudden you hear explosions outside the building and then those men were running and that's that's right, your got it. Yeah. got it so yeah does anyone wake me up anyone wake them up guys it's all wake us I mean, up. you yeah. don't have to yeah you know, it's, it's a choice you can just <laughs> leave if you want <laughs> uh diamond's gonna gonna like um he's gonna go down to like uh about to slap but then he's like wait it's a perfect opportunity to test my rubber bullet and then he goes away oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts he puts like rubber bullets into into his gun and then just shoots everyone oh my god <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> shoot <laughs> with rubber bullets oh. rubber he's bullets so stupid Siggy! Oh, oh, that is the funniest shit ever. We needed a wishbone. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Rewarding violence. Oh. How did I take up the unconscious sword? Siggy, oh. Sarko and... wakes up and then she finds like a dent in her, a very deep dent in her arm. You like, did, you... Did, did I just get shot? You know it's from Dust Bunny because the bu rubber bullets are shaped like carrots. Shaped like carrots, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very obvious. No one else could have shot you. Fira wakes up, looks at the the carrot shaped bullet, and then he practically death glares at Dust Bunny, one eye 
glowing very briefly red, and then throwing a psychic knife. Does <laughs> 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 like, it Really? <laughs> you couldn't have just woken us up properly. You shot us. No, I mean like oh. I want. I wanted to test your uh, rubber bullets, and if I asked for your permission, you'd say no. So, this was the best time. <laughs> I was like, you gonna have just tested somewhere else. You just had to test on your teammates. Is that it? Yeah, cause like the point of the rubber bullets is they're non-lethal. So, if I shot you guys and the bullets went through, then I would know that the experiment failed. Then I need you know. Girl, I shoot you. And then she just starts throwing utensils at <laughs> Boss. Was I out? Excellent. Okay, guys. So, basically, just to give you guys an explanation, like, you think the lever was a switch to, an, to open a door, but, you know, like, Levers could also activate traps too. So that's a lesson, guys. Not all Did levers it? open doors. Ah, uh, they failed the check. We failed the check on that. Someone did. No, all I did was uh, we we found the lever, but no one checked if checked it was for uh, Homer checked it for Arcana. Yeah, only for Arcana. Not, uh, not okay. mechanical. Not that. Whatever. Not mechanical stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Did, what's the check for that though? Would have been investigation. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, got it. But um, you're still locked in the room, by the way, guys. So you guys need to do like a thieves' tools check to unlock the door. Or knock, maybe. I don't fucking know. <laughs> this bunny's <laughs> like, oh, the room's locked, guys. If only we had like people who knew how to pick locks. <laughs> Vera. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> What do you want me to roll, DM? Sleight of hand, please. <laughs> do, do you really? Do, do, do you want to roll a sleight of hand? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the plus 18. Oh my god, let the plus 18 man roll freaking dice, right? 38. Oh, man, I want those gloves. God. 38? Oh. Natural 20 plus 18. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, you could oh, lock pick us out of this world, man. You could, you could freaking. Take us out of here. How do you put how do you put this person in jail? He's not he lockpicking you with don't. a lockpick anymore. He's lockpicking with the tip of his sword at this point. It's like yeah. you, you just look at a lock. You just look at a lock and it becomes unlocked immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, like the door is locked, but trying to fear she opens the he opens the handle and just opens, you know, against all logic. <laughs> You're, you're the panic system of locks now, man. God, 30. It becomes a. The, all doors become like automatic sliding doors. Right? <laughs> it's like, what? Damn. 30. Even I'm surprised. I'm so tired. I'm tired of this. No more locked doors. What's the point? Man? No What's the point? <laughs> yeah, no, more, no more locked doors, man. Just forget about it. Anyway, guys. You might also um, forget all the furniture that exists because he could also steal. <laughs> you um, you guys uh, you guys can when you guys explore the other rooms, you don't also see anything important. So we we can uh, but you guys do find the stairs to the second floor, and I will open the second floor for you guys, which is right here, underneath. Locked, by the way, so here it is. So you guys can be in the second floor, and I'll have you guys be in this room where the cross thingy is, ish. All right. Okay. So in this room, you see um, red carpet and this greenery thing. It's like a small garden. There are like you know plants and stuff over here. Really nice, fancy plants as well. Uh, like, they're very beautiful flowers. They're from, uh, actually, you recognize it, uh, uh, Amir. These plants actually are from Exoria. They're like a combination of cactus, but 
it also has flowers growing out of it because these are exorian plants yes it's That's called the, the 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 exorian bloomers exorian bloomers these are <laughs> exorian bloomers <laughs> bless um, you bless you too <laughs> Okay, Bloomer. Oh my god. Okay, Bloomer. Uh, and uh, you hear other other noises again across the room. The room? Someone here with us? I mean, I would okay, so like, like talking, 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 very, talking. Be very notes. quiet. Talking noise? What is it? What kind of noise is it? It's like walking noise. Ah, walking noise. Okay. And we, we gotta hide. My god, I have fucking chain armor on. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna move. I'm not moving, because I don't want to make a sound. <laughs> Fuck it. You guys will hide. That's what you guys are gonna do. I'm not even gonna hide, because I know that I will freaking I... fuck it up. Okay. I'll, I'll stay still. Rooms, so it's our instinct no more. We'll hide them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good now. Roll for stealth, whoever wants to. Damn. Can I not roll by just standing still? <laughs> you can. That's also an option, you know. 13 God damn it. Five. I don't want to roll because you have disadvantage. Uh, my dude, I can <laughs> still cast pass without trace because it's uh, will you? as many times as I'd like, yeah. Oh, okay. Please! But I can get it's guidance. Insane. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, time to roll. <laughs> time to roll. Well, I have to roll with disadvantage again. Uh, this, mm -hmm. you have to this. type this. Yeah. See this? See this? Yeah. See stealth so, this, yeah. and then and minus then B. Minus then. B plus 1d4. Everyone in the party has finally rolled a natural 20 in this campaign. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled twice. I rolled two eyes since my first time being here. I know. Um, oh, wait, what's Crazy. that? Is that wrong? See me. Oh, you have to put the this after, after. stealth, not the other okay, way before. around. Okay, got it. So, that's not rigged. So, oh my god. Eight, I got 18. 18. 18. Yeah, 18. Oh my god. yeah, that's why I need that shit, man. So far, everyone has rolled really high. Okay, so while you're hiding, um, you guys are able to hide, I guess, under the, the, the small garden table, but you can also hide in the corner and stuff. I'm just gonna but, be like on, on the wall corner ceiling thing. Like he jumps up, whoosh, and just like yeah. tries to like hold himself up on like a corner of the of the ceiling wall. Nice. Okay, so what you guys see is uh, you guys see a creature just walking by. Now, this monster is the same thing that you guys fought like two days ago in the in the port. Yeah. But this one in particular has no eyes. So it's looking around Shit. and it's it has a huge tongue just like flicking out. And it's looking around, you know, crawling around. But you all you guys rolled like really, really high. Yeah. You guys were able to... Is it, is it a dead DM? No, it's a... Uh, Aberration. It, it looks like it, but it's not. Okay. Well, and then it, it goes down to the stairs, and it goes downstairs, and it's gone. So, yeah. What in Zamala's righteous eyes was that? Uh, we fought that before. On it, actually, uh, he's gonna speak this through telepathy, so he's gonna connect to Amir, Homer, mm -hmm. Big Man, Teach, and Vendetta. Is that five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is uh, it? We fought that in the in the city in the in the docks. Actually, I don't know mm -hmm. if it's the same one, but this one has no eyes. But the other one, it's best to be careful when you're fighting it up close. Acid kind of stings. My gratitude, kind of fear. I will keep that in mind. 
in telepathy. <laughs> See Sorka when she just whispers to like Dust Bunny, I guess, okay, he's possessed. She said, I bet this whole mansion is crawling with them things. You gotta be careful. Well, but it wasn't crawling, it was clearly walking. <laughs> I, I hate Shut you. What the hell? Well, we have a limit on cursing. I have probably broken that at this point. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, is there any rooms that you guys want to check out first? I don't want to check any more rooms considering that thing's walking around. But okay, let's, not, let's, can... let's not go left. Okay, that's where the that's thing is. Right? Yeah. That's where it went. Oh, there's a map there. What the fuck? But is it a second dining room here? It's a big ass room there. Are we going there? But that's where it came from, right? It came from this side. It came from this side, yes, yes. Yeah, this side. Hmm. Yeah, but also it went this way, so. Ah, uh, I know he went downstairs. He went downstairs. He went this way. Yeah, if yeah. we go if we go where he came from, nobody they might be there. Or like there, no one's patrolling there no anymore. No one's there anymore. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Video game logic, right? I don't know. Video game, someone, yeah, yeah. It's like if someone sneak in and check it first, I guess I can't. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Okay. Sorka, go and check it. Sorry, are you either? going? Yeah. Uh, you don't see anything. You don't see any monsters crawling around or walking. So, yeah. Okay. Looks like you're in the clear. All right, yeah, go to the left. Uh, there's more room. Let's see, we can check that room out. That looks interesting. I like this one. It has a map. <laughs> right? Looks interesting. See, the DM I go in here. The map room. Uh, you guys go in the map and... Here. Yeah, you see this map room. Uh, is it just the three of you or what about the rest of you guys? Are you going with them? Split Together? The we split the party. We split the party! The best words ever uttered to a DM. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're planning on splitting up, there are several people I can speak to, so you're good. I'll yeah, go with ever. the ones... I'll go with the ones... Where the hell did you go? I'll we go with the... the room yeah, I really yeah, I'll go with the, the ones that... Oh, okay. You're fine. You're there. So I'll go with the other group then. Okay. Where will the second group go? Oh, Link? Is Link here? I think Link uh, got disconnected. Yeah, he got DC'd. The no, let me try Link. Oh, no. Uh, for Carlo, you want to peek? Can I do it safely? Yeah, you can, Carlo. You can take a peek and check. Uh, you also see there's no monsters there so far. So, you guys are in the clear as well. Oh. So, so this, this place you want ex- to check, this, uh, I don't even know what this place is. It looks like a, oh, it looks like a dining hall too. This map has a lot of dining halls. It's so weird. <laughs> you got a lot of, because they also have like a lot of rooms too. I mean, a lot of beds in the other one. See? That's true, yeah. There's a lot of people living here, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Uh, family, I guess. Okay, so the four of you guys, I'll assume... Uh, Vendetta, who are you going with? With map room people or with the uh, dining room people? Um, is there anything... suspicious, remotely suspicious? In the dining uh, hall? Well, so far, when the four of you check the dining room, there's nothing suspicious there, so... Mm. Yeah. Do I know that they're in a map room? Yes, you do know. I will know. go to the map room. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll tell na lang you guys as well that like uh, you find a lot of interesting stuff in this room, so I guess it's best that all of you are there. So, so I'm gonna put you all there because this map room has some interesting things. So, uh, is everyone here? Yes, everyone is here. So in this map room, you know this this big map, and this map actually shows like uh, 
places of uh um, it's a huge map of Skaldagri Island and there are a lot of like markers there on specific territories not just in red blight district but up across the island uh you're not sure yet what this means uh but you guys can uh look around if you want but also i want to tell you guys this this room isn't just a map room but there are a lot of paintings in this room it's filled from all of all over from wall to wall just paintings and these paintings they're so beautifully and artistically created but they're also like uh pictures of like different people you know and uh hmm uh tj i want you to roll in particular like a perception check please Let me let me check. Perception check sixteen. Okay. Oh, uh, nine. So TJ, you noticed one of the paintings. It, one of the paintings actually catches your eye. I just uh, uh, because oh, you're gonna you're gonna steal the painting. <laughs> what? Okay. You take the painting, but yeah, it really catches your eye because not only is it beautifully made, you actually recognize the person in the painting. Mm. Uh, the painting is of a girl, the girl mm. that you just hallucinated a few moments ago, and the girl that you knew from the rooftop when you were young. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, she is human, she had dark hair, and she is, you know, she she looks exactly how you remembered her when you were little. Mm. And see, when you took the painting, when you pulled it off, you notice that there's like a second painting behind behind the front. There's like a front and back, right? You notice there's mm. a second illustration in the back. And when you turn around in the back, the it's a different painting. And it shows the girl getting stabbed to death. Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh. You also see a note that was taped on the back side of the painting. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I read the, I read I read the, the note. note. Okay. Maybe. When you when you read the note, I'll I'll read it out, but I'll also share it in the chat what it says. Mm. The note says we found this girl who was delighted to have seen her friend. We decided it would be funny if we killed her and left her friend wondering. Oh. Oh. Damn. You look at this painting, and this painting is filled with all these kinds of paintings. And now you guys are wondering, like, what else is behind <laughs> these is this, a, is this a hit list? Uh, for Simon, in Simon's case, this is when Simon and the rest of you would realize this is like the work of a serial killer or serial killers. You know, this is like a trophy room of sorts. Oh, yeah. Do we start, do we start flipping the paintings? Who else is there? Who else is in this in this room? You know what's oh, very. You know what. It's very alarming. One of the paintings is a baby. Oh, kids! A baby that looks strongly resembles Lord Evan, Lady Rain. Oh, if you you can check the painting can of that check? baby. If yes, you want. yes, yes. Okay. Veneta checks investigation or history. Uh, let's see. You look at the painting of this baby. You take a look, and the baby has, like you've seen Lord Ra uh, Lord Rain and Lady Ev up close, and you can recognize that this baby resembles them a lot. And uh, when you turn around the portrait, you see the portrait behind is an illustration of 
the baby's still okay, but it's left like in the middle of a forest. And this is what the note says, and I'm gonna read it out loud. We were curious it w if we would have any parental instincts upon tossing our baby of rain in the wild. Turns out we don't have it. It's up to the fates now if he'll survive. Ooh. Ooh. Gasp. That's Jesus. Kinda... That is... Ooh. Disgusting, man. And you look at the other paintings, and there are different types of things here. They, they've killed a lot of people, the, these guys, because the, the paintings are like filled Jude, with the room. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, there's a date, by the way, on, on that portrait. It says there... It's an old uh, painting. 50... 50, 30 something around the age of 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 a certain person so yeah yeah it's a throwback painting yeah throwback <laughs> so yeah. um yeah that, that's uh that's the gallery room guys so that's what you find in this room besides of course the map well yeah we could paint them next time. Have them um, taste their own medicine. DM. Yeah. Uh, Dust Bunny sees the, the baby painting and then Dust Bunny is just like, oh, how sad. This baby died. <sighs> and then Dust Bunny also wants to know if like we recognize anyone else on the... It's all, like, are, there, are there any tabaxi? Yeah. Yeah. Or like. Yeah. Or like. No. Yeah. Or even like the more recent paintings, if there are recent paintings here. Oh. Yeah. Are there recent paintings like the date? Yeah. Yeah. There are dates on these actually. So yeah. yeah so. I'll uh, summarize a few of them. Uh, for Dust Bunny, you find a few paintings of like of the Baxis actually, uh, and. Uh, the notes that are taped on them, it like it confirms that some of these tabaxis are from the Corponi family. Holy sh! Holy sh! Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. You turn around their paintings, and these people were killed brutally. Like they were gutted. You know, their intestines were removed, like with a sword or something. For for Sorka, you also realize that there 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 is one painting in particular where. You vaguely remember as a little girl, this man was a part of the uh, of the House of Splendor, and when you turn the painting around, like his eyeballs were torn off, and yeah, and then even for Vigil, you realize that one of them was uh, one one member of the Soteris was also killed by them, but this was like several years ago. Uh, one person disappeared but you all assumed like this person ran away but no he was uh, he was killed by by the by the noctis couple for trandafira you uh you you don't recognize anyone so far <laughs> from the painting which is probably a good thing for you you know yes. yeah also for homer you don't recognize uh, any any person in the painting uh for amir as well um no no persons but recently like the, the recent killings as well actually uh for simon some of them were were some of the paintings showed like uh innocent people of like the murder cases that you've been investigating the past few the past two months so yeah uh they've been busy even before the attacks Oh. Got it. So Dust yeah. Bunny is just like these guys need to be brought to justice. We need like evidence. You think this is enough? Like the paint? Probably not, right? We need clear evidence of their crimes. We need thy confession from them. Is there? Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait, the paintings literally say they did it. Yeah, but like it could it could be forged, like That's true. it's not enough evidence, you know. No one, so what kind of evidence do we need? We can... Sword Crush is trying to look for like a journal or a notebook of some sort. I mean, yeah, but like, that could also be like a diary. Uh, there is one journal actually. Uh, it's uh the journal. The, the latest journal entry states that they have been spending time in one of the hidden rooms of in this mansion, like performing some experiments. They've been trying to do some experiments on like obtaining immortality, just like how Zix gained his immortality. Mm-hmm. And uh, there, there, uh, there are based on the descriptions of the journal, like you can figure out where this hidden room is from where, where to go. So, so yeah, Th- that's what you found. Oh, I think they're still in that room. The mansion's empty. We better go find them. <laughs> Bring all these children and people to justice. Oh, would, I have a question. What? His fear is more so curious now. Were they involved? Because they are they are killers, and it kind of slipped into my mind. If fear doesn't know anyone, it painted on. Wait, how do I word this? Do you think you. they're involved with Darius or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you've never. Remember Darius mentioning the Noctis couple, so no. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. So you guys are going to the hidden room that they mentioned? Yeah, uh, yeah. we can find it. Uh, the journal describes that uh, it's uh, somewhere... It, it gives the descri- the journal gives descriptions of where it is, so you're able to figure out where it is, no problem. So, uh, I just want you guys to do lang, like a quick investigation check. All right, let's do this. Let's get home. I got you, Ayami. Fifteen. Wow. Thirteen. Wow. Okay, these are good. This is nice. Okay, so collectively as a group, you were able to figure out, uh, based on the journal as well, where it is. Uh, the hidden room is uh, actually within within this area, but I'm gonna change the map anyway. So I'll be changing the map and. Uh, I le- um, if you guys want to take a water break or a pee break, I suggest you guys take it now while I change the map, you know? Yeah, y'all not gonna eat? I'm already ate, but like just asking. Quick question, yeah, are you guys gonna eat lunch or lunch? something? Uh, in a bit, yeah. Okay. I had brunch. Mika, Mika okay. and I ate while we were playing. <laughs> Bro, okay. I ate earlier. Yeah. Done. What about Lincoln? Uh, no, I won't be eating any lunch, man. Okay, what about you, Carlo? <laughs> Carlo! He already RB ate. ate. Oh, but I will be RB for now. So I got water. Now. Yeah, I'll go get food. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. So, just take one water breaks or pee breaks or whatever, because I'm going to get water, so... Sure, I'll allow you guys to put on your buffs right now. 
Alright. Uh, so we got uh, we got aid already, right? And then we got warding bond. And then I'll cast circle of power. So that I have a 30 feet. Uh so technically the you what happens for those people inside the 30 feet circle is that uh, each friendly creature in the area, including me, has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Additionally, when an affected creature succeeds on a saving throw, I guess a magical effect that allows it to make a saving throw to take only half damage, it takes no damage. Yep. So that's the circle power. In that case, Dust Bunny will also cast uh, Jump and Long Strider. Okay. What's the drawing? Uh, Vendetta, do you have any buffs you want to put on? Do I have buffs? Darkness. Uh, can I, I cast Darkness action. now? You can cast Darkness, but you know, cover it with your uh, handkerchief. Five... My god! Yeah. Is this how Darkness. big this is? Five... Ten... Fifteen... Twenty... Twenty-five... Thirty? What? Okay, sure. I'll, how do I put yeah. it on my character? I created a hex um, thing for you. So just use this as like an idea for how big your circle of power is. Yeah, okay. That? I mean, yeah, that should be the one, right? I should make it a bit slowly. I can make it a bit smaller, I mean. How do I make it smaller? I'll just do it again, fuck it. <laughs> okay, how anyone else with their buffs? Uh... I don't know what that is. Are you gonna let's see, Vendetta cast darkness, everyone else. What about Homer? What are you are you setting anything up? No, because I need to see what they're gonna do before you, I do a concentration spell. Can you hit the can you someone grab the circle? Because there's already a circle for me. Okay, I'll delete it, you mean? Yeah. There you go. So anyone inside that's fear. Is that okay? Can everyone still see it? Yeah, 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 that's I pretty so. big. It's such Damn. a big hex It's a hard thing. Goodness. Oh, in the middle, there you go. So anyone inside get uh, advantage of the saving throws. If you succeed it, you don't take any damage, technically. No. Or any magical effects. Just, just remind us that occasionally in case we forget. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, also, oh. circle power. Let's put in my character. Would, Anything would else? It, would it be possible for me to hide? <laughs> uh... Hide? Yeah. In my darkness. Why? In your darkness, Pedera, I think. When you when you turn it on. Right? Mm. <laughs> on in <from> darkness. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, my. So so yeah, anything else before I continue? What happened? I'll okay. I'll take I'll take good. that I'll take that as a yes, yeah. Um, as they, yeah. so technically, as they do the thing, we're casting our spells, so whatever they're doing. As, as, as they were shimmering out of existence, you actually notice that there's a creature that has been casting these illusions the whole time. You see a hulking creature. They look like two bodies fused together. You see four arms popping out of this massive torso that's covered in bandages and armor. You see two heads sticking out of its torso, one belonging to Lord Ev, Lady Ev, and one to Lord Rain. They seem to be like two fused creatures. And yeah, this is what you guys see. I'm going to share it in the chat as well in case. Uh, in oh, case the images do that. They have two hands, so it's not like one head. It's it's both of their hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'll also do channel divinity. Okay. Okay. Channel divinity, so temporary HP when you're inside me. <laughs> when you're inside me, ill. What the fuck? Oh. Once again, thirty feet radius. Can someone put that up on on top of me? You could just use the the one and just remind us. One. Ah, yes. Channel we can divinity. just the same one. Yeah, this is the Twilight Sanctuary where everyone inside me gets 1d6 plus 10 temporary hit points every start of turn. Oh, uh, every sweet. start of our turn, okay. Oh, oh is it the right. end of your turn? As it's turn the sphere, if you end your turn in the sphere. Ah, uh, okay, if we end our turn in the sphere. 1d6 yeah. plus 10. Okay. Yep, so you guys roll that. Just remember that. That's up to you guys. Just remember you got 1d6 plus 10 temporary HP every time you end your turn inside the circle. Yeah. Okay. If you run out, you can just refresh it. Right. Not it. 
It's for one uh, minute too, so. Toilet domain. Nice ka. It's just stacking buffs, bro. This is the gold old fucking DMD tackling Pathfinder. We're just stack buffs on top of each other. But by the way, my only concentration spell is the Circle of Power. Okay. All right. So this is what you see. This creature. This they've they've been fused together somewhat, and you also see like like um this uh, glowing energy. Like, they have veins spread all over their body, like, from the skin that whatever you can see, and it's glowing with a different type of color and energy. And the both of them are saying that they're, we're going to kill in unison. They're like, we're going to kill you and make the best collection of paintings. And then, guys, roll initiative, please. Okay. Jesus. Go. I like paintings, okay. but not that kind of paintings to me. Begin. Oh, I should. Oh, I keep already in combat. Oh, okay. In it, did we not the... end from last time? Yeah. Um. About yeah. that, let me in it end first because it's so confusing now where it to look. So, let me do that, and then. I do, do I roll again? Yeah, wait, wait. We'll, uh, we'll, roll we'll, again. What happened? In it, join. Yeah, in it, join now. There you go. Oh, not 20 oh, for seven. Nice. Nice guy. Are we changing the circles? All right, make it, we're making it clear. Making it clear. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. More cl it's cleaner that way so that everyone can see through it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, is it on top of me? Top. It is up. Thank you. Whoever, whoever did it. God We're bless missing you. one person. Um, someone hasn't rolled initiative yet. Oh. Pira... No, it's Dust Bunny. Okay. That's Dust why. Bun Bun. Bun Bun. 24, as usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> as usual. There you go. Okay, copy pasting. And then, Raf, what's the initiative of the baddies? What do I do here? Does so anyone uh, hear Raf? Because I can't hear Raf. I can't hear him either. I don't know what's happening. I'm here. Maybe he's doing something? Is Maybe, uh, yeah. Probably, yeah. It's more than like. Well, hello? 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 Oh, there are you, you there? are. There you are. What, what happened? We couldn't hear you for a while. Oh, okay. My nut was like, I don't know. Sleeping. Uh -huh. The nut is sleepy. The net does that sometimes. Uh, let's see, I'm looking through your uh, thingies. Uh, the initiative. Okay, uh, I so yeah, we rolled initiative, is there? Oh, nice. Wow, you all have, guys rolled high. <laughs> well, okay. not all of us rolled high, but yes. Well, most of you did. There you go. Let me, let me just look at my... Uh, my notes for this monster. Let's see, where is it? Not, it's not clipping. Is that him? Okay. I'm gonna roll in my pseudo secret dice. <laughs> pseudo secret. Oh, we see this shit, I forgot. But it doesn't, doesn't like pop out anymore. Wow! That's insane. <laughs> Don't look very at naughty. it. You're very naughty. Don't look hey, at it. it. It's hidden. <laughs> okay, so two for monster. There you yes, go. Uh, yeah, if you end the turn inside the circle, technically the same circle of power, you, you get 1d6. So you know how it works, right? Mika, how temporary HP works? Okay, Rashi. Okay, Ra. Okay. I got, got it. it. I got her. <laughs> All right, got it. It might, you might forget, but you know, you guys remember so, that part. Yeah. Um. Let's start with Dust Bunny on the top of the round. Okay. Um, Dust Bunny will. Uh, cunning action, hide in the darkness. Okay. As a bonus action. And then... 
Oh wait, we can't see anything right hidden. now. Okay. Hidden to my darkness. Oh, there's no darkness yet. There's no darkness yet. But no, I already I can see darkness. It's covered. I can see through it. It's not active right now. The it's darkness. Well, shit. Okay. Um, oh, wait, hold okay, on. There you go. Uh, how does it go again for darkness? Uh, I can't see through it even if I have dark vision, right? It needs to be yes, magical dark it, vision. Yeah, it's magical darkness. You know what? I don't even need to see shit. <laughs> I'm not casting anything else. Right. No, Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so there's no darkness yet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there's some darkness yet, apparently. Man, mm. oh, I should have done that. I forget In what I was that saying. case, uh, shit, man. Okay, in that case, I'll do a bonus action to do insightful fighting. Uh, so I need to contest with Ev Rain. Uh, they need to make a deception check against my insight check. Gotcha. This I'll is a bonus action. Okay. In... It's a check, right? I have to do. Yes. Okay. Against my insight, you need to beat twenty-two. Oh my God. Let me just roll real quick. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, they failed. This is so bad. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I will move. What are these? These are rooms, DM. These aren't like balconies or whatever. Yeah, these these are rooms. These are rooms that you can walk into. Okay. Uh, my speed right now is 50 because this is the first round. Okay. But I am going to move here. Five. Vendetta's, wait. Vendetta's going to be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. So you're going to teleport and you could be in reach. So 5, 10, 15. I'll be over here. Yeah. And then... Oh, I, I, oh. I will make my attacks with okay. my my musket. Uh, no All advantage, right. but I can do sneak attack on this. And because this is my first attack, this gets Dread Ambusher. But nice. uh, it's, for the, it's for my last damage anyway uh so that's a musket uh no adv 20 to hit six damage okay you tried to fire your gun at, at them uh-huh but one one of the hands is raised and a shimmering field blocks your bullets okay they cast shield mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Then I will extra attack with the musket. Okay. 22 to hit. Does not hit. Then I will make my additional weapon attack as a dread ambusher. So this is my last attack. 27 to hit. That one hits. This will receive sneak attack and my extra dread ambush damage. Okay. Okay, so sneak and uh, dread ambusher is 1d8. And uh, mm -hmm. when I hit a creature with an attack roll, I can mark a, a target as my favorite enemy for one minute. I will do that and uh that this also adds 1d4 damage oh. so uh, 1d4 so i am now concentrating on favored foe as well so that is on 4 9 13 is 22 22 mm -hmm. total damage all right okay 22 oh my gosh oh. In your, in your round, you tried to fire the musket at uh, 
Evrain, and they uh, were able to block it with a shield. But one of your shots, you were able to ricochet it and hit it in one of their legs. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, does that end your turn? Is there anything that else you want to do? That ends my turn. Bonus action, insightful fighting, action, attack, extra attack, dread ambusher, favored foe. That's it. All right. The next person on the list is Trandafira. Your turn. Oh, wait, we haven't decided, my dude. Do you want to go first or me? Wait, who? They roll the same. We roll yeah, the we same. The same. Oh, we rolled the same. Uh... I think good idea if I go first because my owl can be next to it. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Yeah, yeah. Go there first. There you go. All right. Thank okay, you, thank you, thank you. So, my owl was behind me here, no? So. Let's see how far he can go. 45. Yep. He'll stay here. Provide a help action to Fira. Uh, let me just reverse the order here. So, Homer. There you go. Okay, and then after that, um, yeah, put there that you've been helped, Fira. Or I'll put a mm -hmm. note later, so. Okay, then stays there. Uh, Homer's turn. Noticing that there's a shimmering shield, believing that it's magic, he's going to cast the spell magic to nice. remove shield. Nice. I knew you slap on. Yeah, the the owl is here. What do you call it? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Okay. Nice. So that was my action. Uh, I have a bonus action I can do. Oh, no one needs healing. Okay, and then I stay behind cover. I don't know if this is cover. Are those, yeah, are those uh, li line of sight blocking, Rafi? Yes, yes. This one, this one, the, the ones yeah. on the side. Okay, those are wall, okay. Yeah, got even it. the okay. pendants. Got, right, got it, got it. So I guess I have like maybe half cover here. All right. And that's the end of my turn. Pretty simple first turn. Uh, next okay. up is Fira. Okay, after, after Homer's turn, the monster will take a legendary action. Legendary. So, what it's going to do is do a melee attack on the owl. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, you see the, uh, this creature, it actually carries a great sword in like two hands that is on its side and it starts swinging at the creature and uh can you tell me what feathers ac is Just feathers ac is 11. <laughs> no my feathers feather. my feather okay he's dead yes he's dead yes oh, he's dead. Yeah. oh no more oh no yeah. more help <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's Fira's turn now. Uh, okay, he's just gonna walk up to here. He's gonna gauge something, and he is going to, uh, make a swing swing on the blade. I forgot how to do the attack, Pisty. You see. still have sneak attack because you have advantage, by the way. Okay. Uh... Oh, was that it? Yeah, that is it. Uh, sad, sad la. That's an eighteen. Wait, have advantage, right? Yeah, yeah, you got help. Yeah, but not. Roll yeah. one more d twenty, yo. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Okay, and I'll okay. add. I'll add sneak, and because he hasn't taken a turn yet, surprise attack. Nice. Okay. So that's a 22 plus 22 plus 6. Nice. So, uh, total. 13, 22 plus 6. Oh wow, 63 mm -hmm. damage total. Nice. Freaking 41 damage. Wow, crazy. Wow. Oh well, I guess he's just gonna when he's gonna run over into his position. He's gonna open the umbrella, 
shoot it up into the air in a in a flashy display. Gonna let the umbrella just like slowly fall down, and he is gonna do the slash, and he is going to bonus action disengage. <laughs> nice. How uh, are you going somewhere? Just one here. Okay. Okay. Nice. And that's my turn. Okay. Just to be clear, this this sphere that trend of fear is in is not activated or anything, right? What sphere is this? Yeah, what sphere? This is from the, oh, the, the, the Twilight Sanctuary. Oh, Twilight Sanctuary. Yeah, Twilight Sanctuary. That's activated. Okay, let me do my D6 then. Plus oh 10. yeah, I have to do mine too. You start in the beginning, then every time you end your turn, you also yeah, do that. Yeah, that's right. D6. But earlier, you, you should have had it already earlier. Everyone should have 1D6 plus 10 temporary HP right now. Whoa, 14. I have 16 temp HP, the fuck? Oh, I have 14. Oh, oh my god. Okay, um, <laughs> after finish turn, uh... <clears throat> see huh no it's okay you all it's okay next next turn is vendetta Vendetta. and then just prepare your moves are we muted um i will bonus action relentless hex and teleport to 10 feet Wala pa man ka naka Hexblade curse nila, diba? Oh, wala pa. So, do you want. Dili pa ka maka teleport because you need to Hexblade curse ah, them first. Okay. So, Hexblade curse first then. Bonus action Hexblade curse on a brain. And. Um, as an action, I will. You have to move. Move forward. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. 30. I have 30. 30. Yeah. Oh. You have okay. reach. And then... You have Free action. Then... I... You the cannot... usual. I'll heap with it free action. Oh. Uh, no, but if you... If you... Open your darkness now... You can't you close it again. Ah. Uh, so what? No advantage. Attack. Okay, you'll attack. It does not hit. <laughs> uh... Wait. No, does an 18 hit without the shield? No, it does not hit. Okay. Damn. That does that not really hit. Doesn't. Does it? Oof. But it's six. Yeah. Like that. That's it. End of my turn. It's... Okay. Okay. And you're standing here, no? So... Oh, I know where this is going. I'm thinking, I'm contemplating something. Hold on. Vandata, did you already add your double HP? Oh, I have. Okay. Might need it. Okay, uh... It's... Uh, one... Oh my god, we it's also fine. Uh, next is Vigil's turn. Uh, Tiege, please prepare your moves as well. So, Carlo, it's your turn. Oh, there I go. I just have to add the R. Okay, I'll add the HP later. Uh, how, how many feet can I move? 30 feet. So, one square is 5 feet, right? Uh, one square is 5 feet, yes. So, around 6 one, squares. Two. Yes, okay. 6 squares. Okay. If I move behind someone, can I accidentally hit them? Not really, no. No, no I wouldn't. Right. Um, the only thing I could do right now is to take a shot, I guess. Okay. So, roll to shoot him. In the middle of combat? What is Wait, this? Sorry, what was that? No. Um... It's it. ex Ooh. Is this a bad choice? Uh type uh exclamation mark A and then pistol. I am I was I was just wondering if it's a bad choice. What what's wrong? Uh, cause uh 
He, he wrote once, the room. Once said in the middle of combat question. No, I am. Like, oh. No, 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 no. I was making a joke about taking a shot. Ah! Wait, what? Look at it. Nice. This one hits. Pistol. This one hits. So, uh, is sneak attack added to this one? I don't. Wait. I'm not sure if I have advantage. Oh, yeah, that's another advantage. Oh, he does not have advantage, but then he's a swashbuckler, so I just. Wanna... I think that's just for me. Ah, there needs to be someone next to him who can reach the. Uh, they have right to be next five, to within five feet. Yeah. Yeah, for a swashbuckler. That's also swashbuckler. Within five feet. Ah, uh, okay. So no, okay. Yeah. But he, he still shot him. He got him. So. Got yeah. him. Damage is damage. Damage. All right. Okay. Um, what what can I do for bonus action? I don't uh, think I can do much. You can do cunning action so you can hide somewhere and then get advantage on your next attack. Oh, actually, I'll hide. Okay. You can hide. Uh, you can. Oh, wait. You already used your full movement. Yeah, maximum right? movement. Yeah. Right. yeah. And uh, roll stealth for me, please, to achieve hiding. Okay, that's good. You're hidden. Yeah. yeah. Right, you. You hid behind uh, Trandafira. <laughs> Very stealthy. Yeah. Got a big coat there. Yeah. Big man. All right. Uh, that's the end of your turn. Uh, next is Tejas' turn. And uh, Sorka, please prepare your moves. Okay, so... Uh, I will move in front of the monster. Okay. Uh, and then attack with my... Lex Talion is blade. Okay. I forgot you have 40 speed, that's so cool. Crazy, man. Okay, do I just type, do I just type uh, Lex Talion is blade? Uh, just type exclamation mark A and then type Lex, space Lex. This is Booming okay. Blade, bro, Booming Blade. Booming blade. Oh. Lex Talionis blade and your booming blade. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One. Just one. Just one. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Okay. One. Enter. I don't miss. Go. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll just. Okay. Uh, what's you'll use your bonus action to move away, or or are you staying? I'll just move. Away. Okay. Uh, mark two, four, five, six. Eight. Just making sure how like his movement. He was here. He can move eight square one. Two, I think he'll dash now because the enemy used his reaction already. Oh yeah, that's true. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, you guys can actually move back. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Sorka, it's your turn now. Amir, please prepare your moves. Yep. Is man scary, Anisha? See you now. I will... Uh, one you can use your tabaxi movement. Yeah, yeah. Feline yeah. agility. And then, you know the vibes? Yes, you'll be... Stabbing him with the Lex Talionis dagger. Yep. Nice. A Lex Dilla. Yeah. Press, Press one. one. Unfortunate. Oi, Miss Nokito. See you long. Yeah. Can I try again with the same blade lang yapun? Uh, if you have your dagger of warning in the left hand, you can try stabbing him too. Oh, I, no, I don't have it. 
Oh, Kasi, damn. Yeah, I got the cloak. Oh, yeah, no? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got the what? Who's the other guy in the last placement? It got a cloak. In the okay. other hand? What are you talking about? You don't, you don't I didn't know. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to hold it. You just wear it. Your other hand no, is like... like uh, I know, like I know, I know. She asked for a dagger of warning, but then she had to pick other and not. Do you have a second dagger though? Like she has another, another dagger. Yeah, I regular do. I have dagger. Sing. It doesn't hit either. Girl. No. Miss okay. Nakita. Fluffy. Uh, well, that's, that's it. That's the thing. Can I use my coin? I don't want what? this this person to hit me. Can I use my, I know, my feline agility? To dash and like hide here. Kaya manahurot naman ako movement by coming. No, here, you so... can cunning action dash, ra. No need to use feel ah, and agility. Yeah. I will. No, dash. but the problem is you used your second attack to try and hit it. It's a bonus action one, so you can. Ah, so it has to be the feel and agility. Mm-hmm. Okay. So are you saying I'm stuck here? No, you can move away with feel and agility. Okay. I'll. I will. Oh wait, I'll, wait. I'll stay here. And I can't use my agility again. I'm Unless like, you spend a turn around. without moving. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know you could go that far. Okay. Get the back seat. Okay. Do you? Yeah, dude. Crazy. All right. Before Amir takes his turn, the creature will have a legendary action, and. He is going to one one of the hands is going to extend, and a burst of black flames will come out of his hand and cover like a fifteen foot cone. And so I want five, ten, fifteen. I only want uh, Vendetta and Trandafira to do deck saves, please. You guys have advantage. Okay, thank you. To be succeed, you. you don't take. You don't take half. You don't take half damage for you succeed. I think Adapted. we need to clarify first. Is this a magical effect, Ra? Yes, yes, it's a magic spell. Oh, uh, there you go. It's a magical effect. Okay, that's a uh, pilamani. Twenty-three. Nice. You pass. Uh, vendetta. Eleven. She rolled eleven, yo. No. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, you guys will get this on. one. Uh, the deck save. So Trandafira, you will get 8 it's points like of fire damage. And Vendetta, you get 16 points of fire damage. Oh. Did Trandafira succeed? Yeah, I succeeded. I yeah, think. you don't take damage. You don't take damage. Okay, succeed. you don't take damage. Okay, okay. All right. And then, but Vendetta failed, so you get 16 damage. Fire. That's all her temp HP, yo. Which you yeah, get back, is. Which you get back at the end of your turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way, Fear has to make a concentration check on darkness. Kuang to iyang to kuang to iyang token. It was twenty one, so she still has five temp. Na ako y help. I aid man, de ba? Ah yeah, okay. yeah. Aid yeah, 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 yeah. isn't temp HP. It's it max HP. Is, yeah, it's max HP. You yeah. take temp HP first before your max HP. Ah, uh, so your max HP increases, no? By ten. Every, yeah, by ten. So by and then ten. That, you got, and then you got tap HP on top of that, which you take first before the aid, before the yeah, aid buff. Yeah, yeah. Bruh. Override max HP. Okay. Why are you on computer? No, no. 86. Uh, yeah, please do a concentration check for your darkness. S space con. Uh, do you ADV that? Yeah. You are a warcaster. She's a warcaster. Yeah, it's Oh. Is that safe? Nice. Yeah. Uh, Easy. You keep darkness. Just just roll a second one and then we'll see if... Wait a minute, it's already with advantage. A second, a second one? What are you talking about? Oh, it's with advantage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Then, yeah. You're good. The, dar- the darkness spell is still maintained. Yep. Okay. So, next is Amir's turn. 
All right. Um, bonus action. Well, I can't. I will move first. Wait, give me a second. Move. Correct. Bonus action. I will cast spiritual weapon. Now the question is, what level should I cast that bitch? Um, it's level four, I think, but you can. You could also cast it level, but yeah, I could cast it level four spell slot. Okay. So spiritual Real weapon. Point. I don't have a token for it yet, but I will choose one from the side. It shall be a maze. Where's the hammer? There's no hammer here. I don't know if there's a hammer icon, yeah. I'll just this change it. Just this dude. one. Yeah, let's put it that one. Put as close as he is. I think 60 feet for spiritual weapon. Yes, yeah, 60 feet. Put it right next to the dude. There you go. And then, as an action, I have no action. Because I can't cast other spells. I can cast a cantrip. Yeah, we can try. Tall of the Dead. He has to save a... Well, I don't want to do that necrotic damage. <laughs> uh, second Flame, let me roll for that. Uh, 1A. Is it 1A yeah. Sacred Flame? I think it's cast Sacred Flame. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Cast Sacred Flame. Uh, did it hit? You have to make a deck save. Right, save. He has to make a deck save. 15. 15, okay. That means. Okay. Um, rolling it now. Okay. Oh, hold on, my oh, okay, he fails. <laughs> oh, okay, let's take that. Um, by the way, okay, yeah, he takes six points of fire damage. Okay. Radiant damage. Ah, uh, radiant damage. Nice. No, 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 no. action you can move. When can I attack with this thing? After my you turn. Can, uh, you can attack now. With oh yeah, when I cast it. Weapon. Sure, let's do that. I will attack with spiritual weapon. Oh, does that work? What should that be the thing for that? Do I just roll for it? I don't think it's prepared in your thing. Or no, yeah, you, you did A in no Wonder. You have to do cast. Mm, okay. Cast spiritual weapon. Because there is this thing. Uh, well, it doesn't attack for me, so I think I have to roll ah, manually. Yeah, you do have to roll. Uh, okay. There you go. That should be plus... Where is it? Plus seven. Uh, that's a 25 hit. <laughs> a 25 oh that hits. 48 plus 3. 34 points of damage. That should be force damage. 34 okay. points of force damage. No, it did 4th level, no? Yeah, it is 4th level. It it's... would be 3d8 because nice. it scales every 2 levels. Yeah, so it's 2nd level, Diva. Right? And then 4th level it should be 2d8. Uh, no, it says it scales every two levels above. Ah, every two levels above, okay. Yeah. Let me re-roll that. 8 plus 3. 17 points of force damage. That's literally halved. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Bro. Seven. That is that is the end of my turn. Hmm, okay, okay. Now is the Wait. turn. Wait, uh, let me move. Let me move for a second. Let me check again. Where do I want to be? Uh, I want to be here. I will, if I'm behind a pillar DM, do I get half cover? You only have half cover, yes. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. I'll stay there. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Can go here, Hold go on. here. Can you go here? Sure, sure yeah, I can go there. Yeah. Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, got it. Done, that's it, my turn. Next is the monster's turn. He's going to move. 5, 10, 15. Uh, okay. And he's going to try and attack the dust. Okay. 
Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Hold on. I'm gonna Shit. type with my phone on this one. Cause you have I plus am... one. You have plus one AC, by the way. Yes, sir. What is your AC again? Seventeen. Okay. Um, this one hits. Shit. Uh, the first strike, he will uh, raise his great sword, and this great sword looks very, very dangerous. This great sword is colored black, and it's glowing with purple radiant energy. And um, yeah, it's a bit similar to a certain someone's great sword strikes, and you get in total. 37 points in total. You have that, buddy. I have it, and DM, I will spend a reaction to all uh, Uncanny Dodge. Okay, so. To have it some that, more. Okay, how much damage that's. And does, have that, more. does that mean that it also has yeah. the damage that Amir takes? Only, yes, the only instance that you will do it. You, you get hit, you have yeah. that with Uncanny Dodge, then you get half that again. Yeah. You will have that damage, the third half. Great, great. Yeah. So 34 halved good. is 17, halved some more uh, is 8. Yep. 8. And then yeah. you... Yeah, that's it. We share that 8 damage. Cool, yo. So 11, I'm down to 11 temp HP. And I will make a constant... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? wait, wait. So it's 34, 17, right? You have to win in Kani? And yes. Kani? Uh, we take 8 each. Uh. Yes. Yeah, we take 8 each. Got yep, it. that's my that. yep. I will concentration check. I will concentration as well. Save con. Okay. I yeah. fail. So I oh. am no it is no longer oh. my favored foe. Oh no. Okay. Alright. I want it Oh wait, which one did it I got nineteen. It's the first one. I did the first one. I didn't see that. Uh so I still have warding bond and the uh, thingy on. The okay. circle of power on. Uh, next is gonna walk away from you, and you used your reaction, right? Yes, I did. Okay, so it's not gonna walk. It's not gonna be worried, and it's gonna walk here, and it's going to take hits at Trandafira and Vendetta. So, careful, guys. <laughs> uh, for Vendetta, you get one strike of the sword. Wow. You also get hit. Uh, you get... I'm just rolling damage. Oh, by the way, I want to note that you dust bunny, the injury that you get. Okay. Uh, sword. It's, it's kind of shimmering with magical energy and it's awfully similar to the wounds that Vendetta leaves with her glaives. Oh. Uh, oh no, it's a wounding weapon type of shit. I, I have a wound? This bunny has a wound? Yeah. Have a wound. yeah. Well shit. And whoever gets oh, it doesn't... Vendetta, you got a wound too from this, unfortunately. They don't make a con save for that wound, they just get it every time they get hit? We make it's our con saves time. on our turn. I uh, think. When... You Wait. get 19 points of damage total. What? What was Don't that, Raph? Rafi. Yeah, yeah. What What did you... You were cutting off. I, I said that Vendetta is getting 18 points of damage total. Mm. Hello? Yes. Yeah, we can hear. We can hear you. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. Con concept ADV. Open that up. Open that up. Open that up. Whoa, she just makes it. Holy crap. Nice, nice. And uh, Vendetta, as you get struck by the sword, you immediately recognize its wounding prop properties. So 
you can deduce properly that like if Homer or someone else like gives you magical healing, this wooden wounding property will stop. So you know, like it takes one honor to recognize its effects. And so yeah, and next trend of fear, you'll also be getting a hit from the sword. The monster can do three attacks, by the way, so that's what's going. Okay. Okay, for you, you get... Does a 20 hit you? Yep. Okay. You're also getting an award. Ay, congrats. Congrats. I'm yeah, having well. the Sword of Wounding. I won't be able to heal them unless I make a DC 15 Wisdom Medicine check first. Shit. Or uh, oh, it's a custom. No. It's a custom link. Ah, it's custom. custom. Uh, yeah. Okay, custom. understand. Okay, sige. understandable. Have a nice day. Very rulesies. You won't know that link. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God! You get 41. 40, I'm having that. Gaga. Oof. I am having Oof. that. Oh, gino ko. Gilu ko. Miss na miss kita. Kasakit. <laughs> All right. 41 is 20 still though. Shit. And uh, the the fun's still not over. You guys realize that this creature is casting a spell as well. So what's happening oh, now is shit. it's going to... Uh, let me look at my spells. Hold on. Let me let me double check the. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment. Wow. So slow. Uh... Ah, here it is. Okay, so ten feet. That's that's will Sorka also get hit? Yes, yeah, Sorka's gonna get hit also. So it's gonna teleport and so everyone except Homer, Amir and Homer. I mean Homer, Amir and Dusk Bunny, you guys all need to make a con save please. Uh, oh okay. guys. Is it magical in nature? Except yeah. it. Or come uh, you magic. get advantage. You guys get advantage. Okay. Whatever. Not 20 plus 2! Nice. Oh, rolling nice. That's my third not 20 of this session. Oh, I'm rolling so bad. Advantage, Torka. I roll Same again, with... no? Yeah, yeah roll again. With vendetta. Advantage, Vendetta. You're all in my circle of power. God, this Girl. thing has so much power. <laughs> Girl, That's you really did. Yeah. Fine. Not under... Sense. This is not my session. <laughs> no! Thunder jump or something. Lightning jump, whatever the name is. <laughs> it's it's thunder step, guys. Ah, uh, thunder step. Uh, so it's thunder step. Yeah, thunder well, I step. thought I was gonna die. It's, it's fine. fine. It's still da it deals the damage, though. Did Vendetta make it? Yeah. If you if you succeed, you don't take any damage. No, you take half as much that. Oh, they no, have yeah. Oh, of power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much value! Oh my god, fifth level spell. Vendetta spell. succeeded. Nice. So, so much better than healing. Our Wait, master. You, you went up, up, up in your right hand, upper right. Oh, Dara. Okay, hello. Vendetta passed. Uh... Sarka and TJ, oh my god, you guys. So those who failed, you get 10 points of thunder damage. Yeah, those who failed. Yeah. Uh, the, the DC is 15, I'll tell you guys that. So Vigil, you also failed, you get 10 points of thunder damage. Yeah. Okay, guys. The rest gets nothing, because they passed. Ah, very, very nice, very good people. Now, uh, he will, what else can he do? Just want to make sure. He'll do a bonus action to cast the cantrip. And he's going what? to cast, oh, you know what? Never mind. I won't what cast kind the cantrip. Of, what kind of cantrip's a bonus action? Right. He has quick and spell. I think, 
I think he has what they call it, innate sorcery or something. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yep, he's done. Uh, his legendary actions refreshes, and it's top of the round now. So, Dusk Bunny, it's your turn. I can't even use the thing yet. Uh, you hold your action. No, 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 no. Because hold action is only one attack. Um, I'm gonna move up here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Over here. Oh, uh, no, dude. Hold action, you can do all of your attacks. All my attacks? No, but I still can't hide in your darkness, so I need to hide. That's true. So, oh, I'm gonna go behind this large pillar. I'm gonna yeah. cunning action hide. Uh huh. So, that's my bonus action. And I'm gonna peep out over here. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna shoot the bitch. Okay. All with well, advantage. Oh. Uh. Estimation mark A, musket, ADV. Um, I'm gonna do sharpshooter. Okay. So no. B, uh, bonus minus five and then damage 10, right? I wonder if this rolls properly. So we'll see. We'll see. Natural 20! Sharpshooter! <laughs> Boy, uh, <laughs> attack. Attack, yeah, right? and sneak attack. I have to double. You double. You double the attack. Yeah. But hang oh, on, I'll I'll do my oh. ex. I'll do my extra attack first. Same thing. Twenty four to hit. That's twenty four hit. That hits. Okay. okay, and then I will double oh, sneak attack. Yeah, just a reminder. Reminder, you have your reaction just in case. I know. I know. I yeah. double sneak attack. Yep, there you go. And then so I don't I don't have favored foe anymore. So You it, can do it again. No, I bonus action hid. Oh ah. wait, no, it's a hit. No, 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 you you action. You're action. You can no. bonus action. No, 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 no. Favored foe isn't a bonus action. It's just when I hit a creature with an attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. So I'm also favored foeing again, so I double favored foe. So this is our uh, 2d4, 2d4. Okay. okay, 7 plus 8 is 15, wow. plus 13 is 28, plus 17 is 35, plus so 45, plus oh 21 is 66 damage DM. Oh, uh, nice. wow. damage so far. Nice. <laughs> Oh, okay. So okay. Dust Bunny uh, escapes from the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> His musket down. He goes behind this pillar, like back against the pillar, takes a deep breath. And then he's still getting used to like his new visors, right? He goes yeah. out, whoosh, and then his visors just lock, uh, like uh, at Evrine. Like look, and we have like these in his vision is like these like sights that are like lining up the different joints and the like points around him. And then he sees like one uh, like really, really good thing to hit. And that's the critical yeah. shot. <laughs> and uh, after that, he just goes back behind uh, the pillar. He can't hide, but he's just there for cover. And then uh, amidst all of that like uh, burst moment, he's then like, oh my fuck. <laughs> he just he just celebrating, and that is the end of Dust Bunny's turn. Okay, when you when after Dust Bunny uh, fatally shoots the monster, the monster starts panicking and does a legendary action. Uh -huh. You shot him, and you see a like multicolored blood just like uh fall, spilling out of like the chink and the armor of this creature. It puts two of its hands together in the wound, and you see light shining around it, and it's fully healed. I... It has I... regained some HP, but I'm not telling how much. It's oh. just it's like fully, fully healed. healed. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> it's not fully healed, so I was like, it's fine. Okay, okay. Now yeah, is it fully healed? I okay, mean, now we know he has 160 healed, HP. Though. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't know. Now we just have to do it again. Then, 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 then do that more. 
So don't worry, guys. You know, easy shit. If, if, if Wayne can do it once, he can do it like three more times, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and. All right, um, next. Uh, uh, Homer. Next up next is, is Homer. Yeah. Alrighty, so um, yeah, I don't know how damaged people are, so I'm just going to. I have to move a bit. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, Dust Bunny, please roll a uh, D12 because of your wounding. Okay. Uh, oh shit, D12. He doesn't, have to make, he doesn't have to make a con save? No. No, I modified this. Uh, well, I also have to take that. Uh, 7, 10. You have it, bro. Alright. So, 2? Just 2. Yeah, 2 yeah. each. I, but you have to make con save. I don't. I'm not concentrating anymore. Oh, I am. You I'm are. I'm concentrating yeah. on just magic. Yeah, on just the magical power. Okay. You're good. I got 20. Easy. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I'll continue my turn now. 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25, 30. So I think I have line of sight of Vendetta and Dusk Bunny. I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I'll be using. I don't know how many to use. I'll just use three D6s right now of my Balm of the Summer Court on Vendetta. Nice. Uh, so I have a question because I wasn't aware if uh, Vendetta's darkness is up. Is it up at the moment, um, Mika? It's not. It, there's no darkness yet. It's covered in my good okay. berry. Okay, understood. So in that case, I'll be rolling 3d6 healing for you. So 3d6. You heal 8 HP. I don't know if that maxes you out, because uh, it's really hard to tell with all this temp HP. <laughs> there you go. And then, uh, if you don't have temp HP right now, then you also get 3 temp HP. 3? Yeah, because that's part of the any. Balm of Summer Court. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> then I think your wounded disappears as well, because you received Yeah, healed. Healed. Yay! Yeah, you healed. Yep, birds. Three temp. I'll just put three um, temp. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, so that was the bonus action. Um, I don't think I have line of sight right now. It's a very weird angle on the enemy. Okay, with that in mind, let me see what spell I can cast. Yeah, not much I can do right now. All right, uh, let's make someone else more threatening right now. So uh, I take a look at um, Vigil. That's I think me. I can see Vigil. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to be casting Enlarge Reduce on him so that he's a oh. bigger person. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I've always wanted to be larger. Oh, the swashbuckler. <laughs> swashbuckler being large. You're also a fighter, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, he's a swashbuckler rogue. He's just oh. a rogue. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, he has no fighter levels. Okay. I mean, still though, go ahead. So you're going to be I don't think I'm hiding now. well anymore. <laughs> I was hiding behind the coat. <laughs> I don't know if you're well ago. Yeah, you were hiding behind me, and then I'm just like, oh. Hi. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. Let me Looking give around. this to our fighter instead, which is Vendetta. So I'll make her big. What? Fan. Okay. Sorry, oh, bro. she's big. She's yeah, bigger. Big Dude, that Don't makes the, that means time. the darkness is gonna be bigger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Alrighty. So um, as I do that, I point the Holy staff shit. of the woodland, the woodlands, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Vendetta, as I say. Um, as I say, Mother Nature, grant growth to this seedling. And then, uh, there you go. Hey. Alrighty, and I'm concentrating on Enlarge right now. Practically the whole arena. <laughs> I had a, I had a <laughs> funny thought of like, if, if the darkness didn't grow with Vendetta, I can just imagine some parts of Vendetta sticking out of the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, oh just, you know just, just her arms are just sticking out from a dome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so this really depends because Vendetta might be growing, but the good berry is not. So I leave that to Rafi to decide how that works. Uh, there you go. I mean, her, her equipments are growing alongside with her. So yeah, I'll say it grows along as well. There you go, makes sense. All right, so that's the end of my turn. I moved, actioned, and bonus actioned. I'm done. Go ahead, Trandafira. Okay, I am going. Uh, seeing this big lady, I'm just gonna. Oh, let's see. What can I do? What is this? What? I'm gonna. It's gonna be my first time using it. This is uh. Ah, okay. No, I'm not gonna use that. Um, however, I'm gonna use this. He's gonna spawn a psychic fan, and he is gonna eat. Uh, let me see. Do I hit? If in the miss, na miss kita din pre. What is that? That's an eleven. Let me just. Nope. <laughs> and I entered. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Okay, uh, next will be Vigil's turn. Vendetta, pa, dude. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's Vendetta. Of, at the end of Fira's turn, he has to roll damage or throw, saving uh, throw. Let me roll the Toilet Sanctuary first. Yeah, you can do that first. D, in total, D6 plus 10? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then the uh, pilamana. Yeah, because oh, the wound, okay. the wound will go away, right? This isn't healing. This is though. this is temp this HP. Is temp HP. Ah. Uh... Pero yeah, ako ako yung rules sa D12 na. Yep. Yes. Okay. okay. Nice ka one oh. minus two. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. Go on. Can I cancel right? Okay, yeah, next is Mandata's turn. Oh, okay, no. That's not me. I will bonus action uh, Relentless Hex and teleport Tapad Za Ni Everin. It's so sad nice. saying Everin, I feel like. I'm actually attacking every. Yeah. Anyway, no you know, in the front um, position, you look like a boss. <laughs> the boss. I've been the boss. Don't <laughs> even that boss looks now. like the boss. I'm the boss now. Anyway, and so I will. Darkness. Reaction open. My the good yeah. berry. So darkness is. Go. Darkness is active now, and I will attack. With advantage, because okay. I'm an unseen attacker. Attack. Oh, nice. Go. By the way, um, you also add 1d4 damage to your attacks because nice. you're a big. Uh, space yeah. dash d. Space 1d4. 1d4. I know. Yeah, and copy that na lang for your extra attack also. Cop oh. Next. Let's see. Does that hit? Okay, no. that one does not hit. Oh, wow. Wow. Second attack. Try second attack. Oof, Sorry, 27. Oi. Oi, no uh, Uncle Lord. Action. I will action surge. Action surge. Oh. Oh, God, she's a fighter. She's a fighter, yo. <laughs> wow. I forgot she's a fighter. 19 will miss. Oh, I'm missing. Miss na kita. 22. Ah, there you go. That is. Okay, oh. 16 plus 15 is 31 30. damage. Mm. Uh, that's with a 1d4 already. Yep. <clears throat> and I will move just a move according where better. Yeah, okay. Left. Uh. Parama expose. So that. There, the enemy's out of the darkness. Okay. And I will 1d6 plus 10. I know I don't! Joke. You can. Joke, you joke. You can do second one. Um, oh, yeah, no, you're not around me, yeah. But, me. but they get a wound. Or they have to make constant, constitution saving throws. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have to do that. I got a Twice. taste of my own then. <laughs> Don't regret this, Rafa. Uh, uh, Con save what twice. Was total, what was the total damage from Vendetta's attacks? 31. 31. 31. Okay. I'm just rolling for. I'll after all twice to see if I get wound, wounding as well. Yep. Okay, he fails the first time, so he's nice. wounded. We wound the one. Nice. There we go. Uh, let's see. Is that the end of your turn? Um, plus four because a uh, hexblade's curse. The Irma automatic menace. Yeah. I think no. Let me see. They oh, should yeah, be. No, they, they, take the they take automatic damage. The hexblade curse. Right. Yeah, so yeah, four. I don't think it's it was added. The plus but four, plus four per hit there. per hit. When you hit them, yeah, per hit. Per yeah, hit, per so hit. I should get like extra eight damage total. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a two hundred. Okay. Two hundred damage taken. Wow, cool. good shit. Very nice. Good shit. Hey. And uh, just to uh, make sure you are still covered in darkness, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's we have to constantly to mute and unmute. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Uh, all right. That's the end of Vendetta's turn. Vigil, it's your turn next. Hello. Can I move diagonally or? Yeah, you can, you can. That counts as one. Yes. Yeah. One square. That's okay. one square. That's five feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, the monster keeps going so far. <laughs> so, uh, wait, is this it's blocked by like a pillar? Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, the black circles are pillars as I understand it. Yes. Okay. Can't I like just like shimmy around it or something? Shimmy. <laughs> like shimmy. You can pass it. by trend of fear, right? Yeah, it's not uh you know, like you can yeah. move us to mid. Okay. Uh so where did you move? Um I'll move here first. That's Okay, four, there we go. Four, yeah. No, I'll just make a shot, I guess. Okay, shoot him. Roll to shoot him. Yes. You have advantage, by the way, because you hit the last time. All right. So roll oh, again. Oh, okay. Yeah. You might hit this time. I missed. Okay. What? No! Oh, critical! Well, the second is critical. Nice. Nice. I, I hit the critical. Yeah. So, so roll your um pistol damage. To, just roll your pistol damage. Uh, it's done now. I already did. It's a seven, and then sneak, sneak attack, attack twice. Yeah. Roll it twice. What do I roll for sneak again? Uh, a space a, sneak. Yeah. A commission mark. A space sneak there. Just do it twice. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, 21. 21 damage to get 70? What the fuck it is? Wow. Damn. What the fuck? My man's <laughs> mad, you know? He really wants to kill people. <laughs> she... He's angry, you know? He's a, he's a widow. He's a widower right now, so oh, yeah. Half widower. Half widower. Yeah, half, half a widower. That a widow. makes no sense, but I go. Half <laughs> a widow. <laughs> Uh, I'm dead. All right, yeah, guys. All right, and then I will. Forty-five damage. My gosh. Yes. I will. I will hide again, and then I will yeah. have two more uh, places to stay. Uh, stay yeah. here. I I can move two more spots. Two more uh, squares. Four or five. Yeah, two more squares. Can I do that? Yeah, you can. All right. Yes. This. Yeah. All right. And then here um, I signal. <laughs> I make a role play a bit. I I do like the the kiss sign to Dusk Bunny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not not the oh. kiss like you know the. 
Oh, the, the, the chef's kiss kind of thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I was thinking of the other one. Okay. Oh, yeah, same. What was like, yo? Something really <laughs> going <laughs> on here? I'm flirting, yo? That was happening? And in the yeah, middle of I'm combat? Like, Jesus, right after your wife died. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're looking to replace the other one, I see. <laughs> wow. Gotta go for the rebound theory, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Not so bad. Not so bad. I was just so be like, oh my god, but she's into it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, okay, Teach, it's your turn next. Uh, Circa, please prepare your next moves as well. Okay, I'll just do the same move as last time. Oh, wow. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. That just reaches oh. you. Jeez. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all of your movement, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See. Roll to to stab the guy. Twenty-five. Does that hit? That hits. What? God. Uh, he, this he is. Doesn't have stuff, right? Did he? He didn't hide the last time. I remember. So. Uh, but this booming blade. Yeah. 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 Add your booming blade to. Uh, our one d eight. Yeah, roll 1d8. Nine damage total, and they are sheathed in booming energy. Nice. Let's go. And then I will use my bonus action to run. If I can dash. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, if... Okay, yeah, you can, you can dash, sure. But he will attack you with an opportunity of attack. Just so you know. Mm. No. You can take it. You have the cloak of displacement. Oh, oh, advantage. You got this advantage. That's true. Shige, shige. Go, go into shige. the darkness, Dere, bro. Okay. Into the darkness. Okay, I will roll my attack with disadvantage. Yes, sir. I'm damaged so far. Thirteen doesn't hit you, right? Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah. You're good. Ah, uh, L noob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next is Sarka's turn. All right. Sorka. So I have just enough movement to shoo to be with them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't do anything else. I literally. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, it does. Did you pray for me, guys? Oh my god. I pray. Signing I pray. Think... But... <gasps> wow, this just hits. Oh, let's go. Oh, that that really hurt my ear. <laughs> but oh. So Did that's one. Did you did you hide Ganina or? I know I, I wasn't I, I wasn't hiding. So wala uh, wala, so wala si ni hide. Yeah. Guys, okay, moving forward, you have to go into like Vendetta's darkness or like behind a pillar. Bonus action, hide and then attack. Yeah. Just like yeah. advantage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I say I was gonna hide last time? Because I think. No, I you didn't need action. to hide anymore because you hid last round. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I use my uh, so previous bonus action to dash. Oh Okay. Wow. Oh, it's oh, dying. Is it dying? You guys are being uh, very, very sneaky, which you should. <laughs> Just dying though. <laughs> but how does it look? Ugly. I mean, it could be like the ugly. Bleed. <laughs> it's it's there are a lot of injuries. There are a lot of cuts. So it's it's bloodied. I'll say it's bloodied. Okay. 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 Yeah. We're getting so there. anyway, my second dagger doesn't hit. Just the first oh. one. Okay. So that's uh, total damage is five. Oh no, it's just eleven. That's good. That's not bad. Damage at least. Yeah. Since it's damage. Previous to zero. Yeah. So okay. I will zoom into the darkness. Does that one? Am I safe? 
you're safe. He can't uh-huh. see you there. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Next is... Um, next is your turn, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Time to move. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Oh, that. Ah, oh, fuck. 25, 30. 30. So I hit, well, Vigil, is Vigil still gonna get it? And I don't think Sorka's gonna get it. Yeah. There, there we go. I Wait, think so now I'm already Vigil's 30 here. Gonna... I'm already 30 here. I can't move up. This is 30 already. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Sadly. 25 per minute, dude. Ah, 25 per minute? Oh, okay. oh. 30. There you go, everyone gets it. Oh, yes. All right, let's uh, do some. I know it's gonna come after me. I have a feeling for it. Um, let's do some freaking shit. First, I haven't cast a spell. This either I will. Just cast sanctuary myself. I cast sanctuary myself. Okay. Oh wait, if I hit him with a spiritual weapon, will that disable sanctuary? Yeah, anything you do harmful will disable sanctuary. But it's the weapon doing it, not me. Yeah, but you're commanding the spiritual <laughs> weapon to harm it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I can actually let him attack first, right? And then I can cast Sanctuary myself. You can do that, yeah. yeah. No, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you can attack, but not with the spiritual weapon, because bonus actions, Mancilla. Yeah, so bonus action, I can move it, then attack. So it will be, I do the bonus action to move it and attack, then cast Sanctuary as an action. Isn't Sanctuary a bonus action? action? Yeah. Ah, Sanctuary is a bonus action. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Sure. So I have another plan, which is just to fucking drop a... What do you call it? I just cast Guardian of Fate. Ooh. That's always good. Yeah, that's right? always it's good. Like, it's like, it's another, you know, it's another backup plan if I can't cast Sanctuary myself right now. Uh, does this even... Oh, it doesn't scale, no? It's just a fourth level spell. Put in the middle. Um, 30 feet radius. He needs to enter it, Diva, right? before he takes damage. It needs to, yeah, it needs to enter within its for area. For the first time, yeah. So let me just roll the circle for that. And it, uh, where's the circle? Oh, you don't want it to be the fist, my dude? Ah, but I guess it's just a 30 feet circle, man. Per Guardian of Fate is a 30 feet area? Ah, 30 feet area? Ah. Guardian of Faith or Spirit? Yeah, Guardian, Guardian of Faith. Guardian of Faith. Uh, yeah, Guardian great. of Faith. So you can just put it there. It's the fist could be pretty cool, right? That's fine. So yeah, and then I will let the Spirit Weapon attack it. So it will move. Uh, that's 20 feet, by the way. I counted that earlier. And wow. then I will roll to attack. 1d20 plus 7. Oh, it doesn't hit. That oh. does not hit. At the end of my turn, that's everything. Okay. All right. Next is the the monster. Uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna cast the spell first, and it doesn't hit. Uh, this one hit like a uh, silvery smoke envelops him, and he disappeared from that area. Hmm. He appears Wait. right here. Right here. So there he is. And Does so he take that's... damage first? Because Spirit Guardian on top of him? Yeah, but he teleported. I mean during yeah. the start of his turn. Reading the spell my dude, they have to move, move space into within it. ten feet. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't okay. moving at all. Yeah. That was the thing. And then uh, that was a bonus action, so he can't he can't do his thingy. Damn. Okay, he's gonna be attacking people now. He will attack uh, Homer first. Oui. So. Oh, so prepare for trouble and make Maybe a trouble. Double. Double. <laughs> uh, let's see. Still have the 16 temp H3 from earlier. <laughs> oh, he's gonna use a feature and he's going to strike you. He's gonna add plus 10 to the, uh, his strike because it, it almost missed. So. Nice. Like, oh, wow. 22 hits you, right? Yeah, 
Yes, 22 hits me. Okay. So you get... a surprise. You get a surprise! <laughs> you, get, you get some surprise. Uh... Okay, you get a total of 34 damage. Ooh. Aiden. Alright, 34 damage. You have Aiden to pray, Spirit. Uh, yeah, I do. Still hurts, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna change that fact. So and I'm gonna he's gonna attack now uh, Amir and try to hit you as well. Oh, that's 34, I have to make a, consti a constitution saving sure. third day. Nice. Mm -hmm. Here we go. D20. Or no, just S. Yeah, ran for that. Damn, he missed. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Half of You're 34 is 17, yeah. so unfortunately, um, Enlarge is gone. Oh. Wait, wishbone, wishbone, wishbone? Yeah, wishbone? Two wish bones. It's okay, I'll just recast it, guys. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Going to give a wish bone, wish bone. Mon, mon, mon. It hits uh, Trandafira as well. It misses Amir, but it hits Trandafira. Oi, color in. Yeah, very uh, <laughs> homophobic. <laughs> Dude, homophobic AF, man. Not gonna lie. That's the most homophobic that. thing ever. That's the most homophobic <laughs> ever. Right? I agree with you. Very anti gay. Dude, with Dude very... we're gonna post this. We're gonna post this here, man. It's YouTube right here. I'm telling you. Yeah. You oh, sure you wanna hit him? LGBT, please, please attack. Um, Lord and Lady of Rain, please tweet at them, no comment on them. Yeah. No, go, go for the DM, everyone. Go for the DM, Castle Rap. No! You, you sure you want to hit him? That's not what you want. You hit me, you're racist. I'm a thief link. Grand of Mira, um, you, you get a uh, more right. damage. I'm going to have <laughs> If you okay. you attack this bunny, you're attacking the the furry the furry community. The furry community, yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, you, you can you. attack anyone, friend. You can and attack anyone. Right. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, that ends the monster's turn, and right now we're once again top of the round. We. All right, dusk bunny again. Yeah. No, I, I was just saying that the only person you can attack is Vigil, the white guy. Right, the white oh, wow. guy. Wow. <laughs> 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 you know, that's, that's actually part of my plan to use Panache so that you guys can approach him and he will not want to attack any of you. <laughs> so it kind of works. <laughs> yeah. Dude, tell you. You're gonna okay. get some to say. Does okay, Bunny's no, gonna... Good, you know, so far, the token white character has been through the much suffering so far. Like, I killed off all his friends, you know? <laughs> You're being fair. Yeah. You're being fair with that. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, like, in... punishment for white privilege. <laughs> in short, you're giving more to the white guy. Anyway, anyway, okay, Dust Bunny's gonna turn around this pillar over here. Uh, bonus action hide in the darkness. And then peep out over here to attack with advantage. Um, uh, everything with sharpshooter everything everywhere musket adv bonus negative five what damage plus ten okay uh sharpshooter 21 to hit okay extra <laughs> attack extra attack 16 to hit will miss i will add sneak attack damage to the first one uh, and favored fall uh, uh, r1d4 so 14 plus 19 is 20 to 33 damage 33 okay 33, 33. E. so that's my Just bonus action 300 damage guys Shit. bonus action action Favored foal, hang on, let me. Am I missing something? Am I missing? 
Your musket is two hundred handed weapons, right? So you don't have anything on your offhand. Yep. So. That is right. Okay. You so are sure. correct, Mundo. I think. Yeah, I think that's it, fam. So I just go back into the darkness. Ah, oh, okay. We're there. End turn. After your turn, I you know, the, do the, the wound. The creature is like on its knees and like it uses four of its arms to try and get up. And you see again, it does something to heal all the gunshot wounds and like the cuts that you guys have given it. Man, go. But it's still damage though, right? It did a surprise. What? No damage though, right? It's still damage. It's its feelings was hurt, you know. Oh my god. Come yeah, on, what's up? Nothing 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 feelings, bro. Like it's a bo on way. Get a cryptic shit this. Alright. Okay, next is Homer's turn. Uh that's money already. Oh yeah, damp HP, okay. Yeah. Uh I I, I, I received the one D twelve damage, right? 1d yeah. 12 have so three each i mean i just have to roll a freaking thing again <laughs> I'm gonna lose all right this so I bonus know. action i'm going uh, to use... concentration uh... oh you still have to concentrate oh, oh wishbone 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 oh, let's start with one <laughs> by one i let's oh. start with one wishbone being here? Just no, I can, here? I can. You can yeah. use like one of my own phones. No, no, no. I'll, oh, sure. No. Yeah, clover no. leaf. Yeah, that's, cool. do I start with one if I. It's me joining in this game, you know? Do I start with one with no, I gave you that because you were on. What, was it because you were on time or something? Oh, so. yeah, we were on time. Yeah, we were on time. Yeah. <laughs> so Don't we talk to me! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Put that wishbone there. Okay. Alright, that wishbone is used. Oh. Good one too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, going back to my turn, two uh, d six of healing is going to Fira. Nice, 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 nice. Two d six. Or oh, I'm rolling pretty low on those. Ooh. So Sige two lang, damage lang. left, and then you get two temp HP as well. Nice go. There you go. That's the bonus action. Thank you. Then for my action, this guy keeps on moving, so I can't put any effects on him, unfortunately. Just hit him, so I I'm gonna do what I did a while ago. Um, I within range. What's the range of Arj again? 30 feet. Oh, how far am I from? Well, I mean, I can't see her, so that actually won't work. So, let's see. I guess on the mirror then. So I look at Amir and then I will cast Enlarge on him. Oh, that's a, that's a big Which means ass your Twilight thing. Sanctuary will yeah. also get bigger, dude. He By the way, I, I almost forgot that I was supposed to roll like a wounding thing because of Vendetta's thingy as well. I'm just gonna add that as well to my thingy majig. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Man. Runtime is right. 3 hours and 30. Gotcha. Oh, Alrighty. that was fun. Okay, so, um, yeah, you're big now, and also I healed Fira. I think I'll hide behind this pillar to get half cut. So that's my turn. Alright. Okay, there we go. Uh, next is, is Fira. You, did you roll now your 1d12? You were wounded, man. Oh, I think last round, Karun wala pa. Roll it, because... Deggy. Uh, last round only, because I healed him just now, so he's not... Ah, that, uh... it's not there. Okay, good, good. Okay. And the wounding that I got from before, it's gone also because of the healing I gave myself. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Now Don't I move. will... Because there's someone over there, I can do this with advantage. I will... Oh. Why am I so big? Well, Why are you so big? Large. advantage, dude. But you will have sneak attack. Oh. You will have sneak attack. We're not doing flanking. Oh, I forgot. Mm, wrong campaign. Ooh. I enlarge okay. without my consent. All right, I'll take it. I mean, I, I will. I will <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no problem. Oh, oh. What? It hits. Wait, relax long. Relax long. Ano, 29 mana. Relax long. Okay. Nice. So, 
And then sneak attack. attack. Yo, where is my sneak attack? Where is my sneak attack? Where? Got a day. Ch- M- Charot lang. Oh, I rolled pretty well with sneak attack. 23. Wow. That's a, that's a total of 434. 34. Yeah, and as a bonus action. Burning forward damage. Actually, yeah, I can do this now because I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a high enough level. So I am going to spawn a knife, but I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to throw it into the darkness. And what's going to happen? I hope it reaches. We'll teleport. Let's see. Right. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can reach. And then the the fan is closed, so it's just like a a rectangular thing. He's gonna yeet it into the darkness. He's gonna well, unlike the unlike Vigil, he's gonna be flirty with the monster. He's like Mwah! and then just like disappears and TPs. Hey, into what the do you darkness. mean? I did went flirty with the monster. Remember? Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was talking about with you and Dust uh- Bunny. A bunch of monster flirters here, oh my god. <laughs> and that ends my turn. Because unlike you, DM, we, we're not anti-ugly, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm talking about hot people here. I'm just saying, like, dude, there's too many hot people in this room. What the fuck? Like, you know, can we, can we represent some ugly people here? <laughs> we, we lack wow. ugly representation. Right? We lack that. What's we'll, we'll up with this? What? What's a happening? Lot, a lot of okay. castable things here, Rafi. Just say. <laughs> oh, I can't okay. really wait for Fira's art to be done. So, so trend of Fira. That's all your turns, right? Yeah, that's all my turns. Okay. So Next is yes. the fierce vendetta. What are you going to do? Go at the girl. The fierce. Um, I will. You teleport. Bonus action, yeah! Relentless hex teleport near, yeah, there, and then attack. Ah, uh, go. Right. I wish I could do spells. But... Damn, this guy! This guy's taking three hundred thirty-two damage from all of us. <laughs> We're just level 10, by the way. <laughs> Y'all remembering the temporary HP? Y'all remember? Yeah. That hits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me roll good. that right now. Y'all roll it at the end of your turn. Oh my oh, god, that hits also. And then I have temp HP already, plus so I can't do that. You choose the highest. If it's higher, you choose that one. Yeah. Plus 17, 20, 35. 35 plus 8 is 43. Yeah. 43 God, total 40. damage. Okay. Okay, okay. Still alive, but you got him good. And I need to roll also the... Another... The, yeah. Could you the wound. Can you imagine if he just like dies from the wound? That'd be so funny. Oh, he passes. But let's see the second time. 375 um, damage, peeps. Ooh, your DC is... What is it again? 13, right? Vendetta? DC for wounding. Your, your spell save DC is... 15. Then he fails. He is wounded. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Wound one. And then you move here. Mag, ikaw ba ang roll ana raf sa yahang dam wounded damage? Yeah, when he when his turn comes, like I have to roll for the wounded. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, you're done with your turn, na? I move there para makahide sa si Vigil and the other rogues. All right. Next is Vigil's turn. Yes. I will use Panache. How do you pronounce this? Panache. 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 It's Panache. Yeah, I'll use Panache. Panache. Yeah. Is there like a range limit for this? It doesn't say here. Um, let me let me read Panache as well. It says somewhere. You have to the two, the two of you must share language. 
and they have to hear you. Oh, we have to share a language? Yeah. It was speaking uh, common a while ago, though, so I'm pretty sure that's covered. Oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it speak this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can understand common. Yeah, they can understand common perfectly, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I do that. So you make a charisma persuasion check against my creature's wisdom insight check. Okay, okay. So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to roll off. Roll insight. Let's see. Let me just check my my insight roll. Oh. Okay. Rolling my insight. Now, what did you roll for your eighteen? Okay. This one is hold on, still rolling. One D ten. One D twenty, I mean sorry. Shit, he failed. Ooh. So yeah, that means on attack rolls against targets other than him, than Vigil. Yeah. And I can't make opportunity attacks against targets other than Vigil for one minute. For one minute. Oh. Until, yeah. until one of you guys attack the target or affect it with a spell or until me and him are more than 60 feet apart. Ah, uh, okay. This is more useful if there were multiple enemies. I Time to yeah. run. <laughs> so, yeah. We can but sprint. I... We still got opportunity to attack here. Right? Yeah. Nice. Well, I, I can attack, but I just have disadvantage. Yeah. On the yeah, rest yeah. of it. Get that part. There we yeah. go. We're engaging meaning attack or... Oh. Yeah, like, like I can't attack... All the other guys, I have disadvantage under attacks except for you. Okay. So I'm more encouraged to attack you, basically. Mm. Yeah. Wait, but if any of them attack... If they attack him, they roll as normal. Yeah, but like the, uh, the effect, will it disappear? Because I, I just read this yeah. until any of your allies engage it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, will, it, will, it will disappear if like the companions attack the target or, or affect or cast a spell on it. Oh, that completely slipped my mind. Oh. Okay. It's okay, Vigil, because like it's gonna have its turn soon, so yeah, we're gonna protect real. like four or five people beforehand. Alright. Yeah, it's like sanctuary, you know, it works kinda of bit that way. Mm -hmm. Alright. Or right. that's regular action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a regular action, what you just okay. did. So bonus action I can do. If I hide, does it disappear? <laughs> oh, no, uh, to... Yeah, you can move into Vendetta's like, dark field and hide there. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, roll for stealth, please. Uh, can't I uh, just move there and then hide there? Or, or does the field just give me a better... Uh... The, the field covers okay. you, but then, you know, the monster could still like sense you with where you are with your scent even, so you have to do a hide action to actually, like, cover yourself. I think I here. Yeah. Okay, I'll stay quite close. Okay. Okay. The rogues are just inside this. <laughs> All right. 18, dang. You are hidden. Okay. Uh, next is TJ's turn. I'll just do the same, uh, you know, the, the usual. Okay. Uh, can I reach? Uh, hide I first. Can... So hide, hide ka first. Yeah. You can't hide. Not... No, 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 uh, has Ami right next to him, the right? No, it's Amir it's just to him. have advantage on the attack. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can do your attack, hide yeah. first, and then. Okay. okay. Uh, can you roll for stealth, please? Mm -hmm. 
Nice. There we go. That's good. And then okay, now you can come out of hiding and attack and with advantage. Attack advantage. with advantage. Come, come out of hiding. hiding. Exclamation mark A space Lex space A D. Oh, oh no. 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 Yeah. You're using your rapier. Use the Lex. Use the Lex. Use the Lex. Okay. The magic weapon. Exclamation mark A space Lex space A D V. Mm. No. A space yeah. Lex space A D V. And then one. Okay, press one. Twenty-three nice. hit. That and then, one hit. And then add sneak, and then sneak attack. attack and booming blade. Yeah. Okay. Sneak attack. Hey, sneak, no? Hey, sneak. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then, then booming blade. Oh, one D eight. Oh, oh R1D8. That's a lot of sixes. No, that, that high really, he rolled really high. This is so good. Five nice. plus 26 is 31, plus eight is 39 damage. Well, that is a lot okay. of damage. Okay. So tell me, Teach, do you lethally oh, or non lethally? Let's go. Let's go. GG's. Lethally, bro. Of course. Lethal, bro. Go for of it. Of course. How do you kill? This is, this is, this is revenge, revenge for killing, killing my, my best, best friend, friend, bro. Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, like, like, no. 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 Oh. The way I, I, I lethally kill someone, someone, I just, I just decapitate, decapitate them, them in, in half. half. Oh. Yeah, bro. Nice. Right, they're back to what they were before, two different people. And then, yeah, then I teabag bag them. them. Oh, yes, oh the my god, the classic. <laughs> teabag. <laughs> I <laughs> know. <laughs> them. What a sight. I, 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 I want to join in. <laughs> <laughs> join? I want to join in. Yeah, oh, go. Teabag yeah. bag bros. So yeah, one. you stab the guy and you you decapitate like his head in half, and then you see this like multicolored blood just spilling out of him at them, and yeah, they they release like one loud scream before they both collapse and they're dead. GGS. <sighs> nice. nice. Uh, anyone took damage to their HP? Uh, I did. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't. I've been teetering back and forth from temporary HP to Kwan. Right. That's yeah. Twilight Sanctuary for you, that's man. Why, that's why I love... I love him. Charot. That's why I love Twilight, Twilight Domain. Right? Best, best cleric. OP, man. Class so OP. far. Right? Yeah. You don't need to yeah. heal people. You don't need to heal them. Isn't Twilight Sanctuary considered dim light for you so you can literally keep flying? Yeah, I can. I, I, but I didn't choose to fly. I, wanna... I can fly though. I, I, have yeah, a, guys. I have a character that's like Twilight Sanctuary, Cleric, and Blade Singer. Oh, that's freaking cool. Which, oh, yeah, which, no, all, all the time advantage. All the shadow. time, yeah. Good advantage. I can do that next time. Well, I think it's uh, Twilight Sanctuary, I mean Twilight and Sorcerer. Well, I'll see. Okay, guys, so uh, you guys are out of combat. Uh, is there anything specific you guys would like to do? First of all, what is Loot. that thing? Yeah, what is that thing? And then they Loot. Okay, you get its great sword, and I will share you the stats of the great sword. It's called the Blasphemy Blade. Ah, blasphemy. Blasphemers. Who can use a great sword, a fighter, and I think is it the. A, is it, do I have to homebrew the item again? Oh. If you want to use it, you can still. I don't think any of you would want to use the. It's a great sword, and. Ah, true. Like, Vendetta loves her glaive, and you love your gun, so you yeah. can. You can 1d8, 1d12, necrotic. It's so poetic if Evrin actually got this. Yeah, nah, man, he's, he's gonna be without weapons at this point because he's just gonna be shadow blading the entire time. Ah, uh, okay. So that's your loot, and um, there's no money on them because uh, 
they have a nice shield though. You have a shield as well. And oh, they have a shield. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm the bro. only one who uses a shield though. And also, uh, they have. What do they have? They have one vial. They have one vial of the drug Heaven Sphere. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Homer, I actually want you to do like an Arcana check because you notice something very peculiar. I'll cast Guidance on myself for this one, which means that you're no longer enlarged, buddy. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, anyone else do, actually? Like, even you, Simon, you could do Investigation or something. Investigation or Arcana. Whoa, 27. Whoa. May you have a computer. Man, I've been rolling so bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, for Simon and for Homer in particular, for Teach, wow, Teach as well rolled really well. Uh, the three of you, you've been hearing like rumors of, again, as I mentioned, the drug heaven sphere. And uh, you guys, uh, like, it's a very rarely seen drug, but it's been uh, mentioned, it's been notable for its uh, impressive properties. But you also guys know for a fact that if you take it, you might get into a coma and never wake up again. So that's like a fair warning if any of you guys think of taking it. So, yeah. Uh, Homer, with your Arcana check, you realize that the colors of Heaven's Sphere, the colors are very intense. They are so intense that in in fact, reminds you of Feywild colors in particular. And that's the colors that has been present in the veins and in the blood of oh, okay. Lord Heavenly Dewey. Oh, what? what? Did someone say something? Because I also heard... Yeah. yeah, someone said something. Anyway, let's... Yeah, so, so yeah. Let's move on. So yeah, how does Homer react to this this thing, this information? Okay, so I noticed that it seems to be that Lord e Lady Ev and Lord Rain took the drugs, and I say, well, we got a situation here, everybody. Apparently, they seem to have taken this over here, and then pointing at the heaven sphere. I tell them, and uh, well. Turn them into this ugly piece of shit. And, uh, well, I don't know if there's more of this stuff out there. There probably is. And it makes me worry who else has their hands on this. I have a question, Raph. Based on what yeah. we've noticed so far about, um, the regalia syndicate, uh, do they, like, mass produce this Heaven Sphere stuff? With the intel that you know, the Arcane Broker is the one peddling the Heaven Sphere sphere drugs. But it's not being uh, mass produced. It's mostly, like, given to, like, a few individuals. Ah, uh, okay. With that in mind, I say, well, if we're gonna be going after these scumbags, we can probably expect that there are those other few who's got these things. Yeah. Yeah, but what is this thing, though? This... I say I... to them, well, looks like there's some fail nature in this drug. Yeah, I, thing... share what, okay. I share what you were telling me a while ago, Raf, to everyone in the party yes. so that they're aware. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And uh, you guys also among the loot, you also see a map like hidden in like one of in their pocket pants, whatever's left of the pants. And uh, that that piece of paper contains a map, and that map has um, 
just reveal to you guys the location of where Zix Grim Jail is. Like where he is right now. Because that piece of paper has been received uh, recently. Oh, well, shit. So, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, Raf, another question that mm -hmm. lost my mind. Yeah. Uh, if I now cast Locate Object on a Heaven's Fear vial, will I be able to ping it? You know, you can try. I won't tell you the result. You can try right now to see what happens. Okay, I'll try casting now since I have it prepared. I use you a try, level spell slot. You try casting on the drug. But then the vial, its colors go intense as well. It's like colors that don't even exist in the material plane. And basically what happens, your spell doesn't seem to work on it. Oh well, that's not good news. Seems that I'm unable to track people who are having these vials, everybody. Oh, so that's very unfortunate, but oh well. So far, we haven't yeah. been having trouble finding people as of late. That's true, but I'm also worried about this thing just going around, you know? I wish that I would be able to track it if ever. Mm. Oh, but I'll well. have to do some detective work, looking at uh, the detective in our midst. Mm. By the way, while you guys are speaking, Balak appears to Vendetta, and he wishes to tell you something. Yes. So Balak tells you, It seems like we have a location on our enemy. We should move now while we know where he is. That's true, too. Um, Vendetta knows now where Zix is? Yeah, you guys hold the map, and now you know exactly where he is right now. You can, you have a choice here. You can still take some, a re like rest, but there's a risk that people will notice what happened in this house and like, you know, report what's happening. Or you can go now while there's still, while no one has noticed yet, like Lady and Lord uh, Noctis's death, and you know, ambush Zix right now. So you have, you have the option. You either take a rest and do it some other time and it you might even risk like him leaving you know in that time while you rest yeah we will i will go i don't but i wanted to check though raf because yeah. lady ev and and something lord rain. rain lord rain is dead now are they back yeah. to their normal form yeah they they separated actually they magically split in half but they are still dead both of them the do they have bounty on their heads? Because uh, oh. <laughs> I will sure, get it. <laughs> sure do. I will... Actually, even if they didn't have bounty, I will cut their heads off and present it to my hot uncle Nikolai and tell them nice. that some of the people in the gauntlet of... I mean, the, char the church of the gaunt The gauntlet church, I mean has already been put to justice and there will be more coming next up mm. zix i tell him and mm. and valak also yeah very nice and then uh you guys can uh you uh i mean you can do that later because you're still in this house mm. so i want you guys like you can guys role play as a group before we wrap this up. Like, uh, what's your plan now? Do you rest? Do you attack? I would like you all to make a decision. Mm. Well, I tell the group. I think it's the it's. I think it's best that I we would proceed to locating Zix immediately, since we already know his location and we might not catch him if we if we take a rest and we need to apprehend him as soon as possible i agree i'm we even need to rest? ready like, to go like the things we need to use we cannot take uh, our rest a long rest right 
Yeah, even a short rest could, could risk, I know, because, you know, spies around the city are watching, so. Mm. Yeah. Like, we need to scoot. I mean, if you can afford it, like, or resources or the, the abilities that require short rest or any form of rest. Like, if there's no need longer. to rest, we don't have to. We can just pursue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, like, mm. you still have whatever you have, whatever resources you have that you didn't use in this fight, you still have it. But taking a short rest could, to regain some of them can risk, you know. Yeah. Changes. So the thing that we the just way. lose is we still retain our damage and yeah. the, the slots that were lost already cannot be regained yet. But you yeah. know, by yes. the time that we go face Zix, we could just do whatever stuff. <laughs> yeah. Maybe do the rest there if it's possible or do anything actually to regain those yeah. slots. Mm. What do you guys want to do? Yeah. Uh, Fira, uh, Vigil. What, what? What about you guys? Beach. Oh, I, I, we don't. Yeah, we can go. Go for it. Yeah, I'm still good to go. But there's no need. Well. There's no need for me mm. to rest, please. There's no need for me as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. Sure. So, uh. I'm gonna wrap this up, but we will play like a final cutscene. You guys go outside of the mansion and you head your way deep into uh, Red Blight District. And uh, as you run across the night, there's still a huge fight happening outside the city this time. You actually notice, you look up in the sky and you see like a giant fiend just like flying across the city. But as you see that, in the distance, you see, like, <laughs> Power is there in the sky as well, fighting this fiend. You just see him, like, blowing his trunk at the, at the fiend and just blasting it with, a, with, like, basically a trumpet blast and fighting it. And, you know, you guys are just running discreetly across the city. And uh, one final scene is uh, suddenly Vendetta... While you're running, uh, you briefly get a really fast vision. And it's you and Valak in a dark area. And Valak is telling you, what happened? This vision is not from me. Is it you? I don't know. I thought it was you. And then, and then you turn around and you say, actually, it was me. And then you turn around and see it was from behind you. And you see a man in bright golden armor with short orange hair. And then he tells you, Vendetta, Valak, the three of us need to have a discussion. And that's where we end the episode. No, wait, who are you? No! Who are you? <laughs> orange with short... Oh my God. Armor with orange eye. I, I, I feel like know Mika knows, but does Vendetta know? <laughs> Vendetta doesn't know, but yeah, that was Rico Bishop. Ah, right. Yeah, hey. that was Rico. But, it, but Vendetta does not know any of... He, she just knows the church of Rico Bishop, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you've heard of stories about him before, but... Mm. You know, like if he yeah. stood in front of you, you wouldn't instantly recognize. Yeah, because Vendetta's not very religious also, so just mm. very, very little knowledge. Ooh, <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh, what happens after? This is very... So... We need to have a discussion, guys. <laughs> yeah. True. You can so that's and... what happened. Um, stream. Ah, oh, let me list out our rewards, my dude. So, sin. Oh, yeah, and you guys all level up. 11. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, Rafi. So, this is my um, branch. <laughs> Raph, what do we call the sword? Everain sword? Blasphemy blade? The blasphemy blade. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching episode four of... Sin, Sin and, and Skullduggery. Skull
uh, special episode Mika's here uh, GG well played thank you so much for watching again Bye. and love like, you like subscribe bye <laughs>